Hello. Is this on? Is this working? Yeah. It's stream number 176. Sorry for the 10 minute delay, but I really needed to eat breakfast. <laughs> and I was running behind this morning. All right. Arranging my windows a little bit, a little bit, a little, little, little bit. Rally Monkey. Eight months. Long time. Have I really been streaming that long? Thank you for your support, Rally Monkey 911. All right. Guess what? Special day today. Launch day. So. Guess what you can find if you go to the game's main page now. HTTPS. Whoa. And I might as well just go hit the button, right? <laughs> Hold on just a second. Let me get this set up right. <clears throat> Let's see. What I'm going to do is make an incognito window for the admin screen. I'm not going to show that on stream. That would be horribly bad if I did that. All right, so here I go. I'm going to hit the button that says permit new accounts. Okay, it's open. So if you refresh this. Oh. -ho -ho. So, of course, you can't do much in my platform yet other than um, log in and create tr a couple trouble tickets. But um, so I set this up over the weekend in uh, AWS and noticed a bunch of issues. And I'm kind of glad that I set it up over the weekend because um, I had to deal with a lot of keys, a lot of uh, secret information that I didn't want to accidentally leak on stream. So, need to use HTTPS. Yes, that's one of the bugs. So, one of the bugs I might address today is to um, fix the cores issue with HTTP versus HTTPS and the WWW. Yeah. So, How come I'm not getting a uh, sound from my Twitch chat? Anyway. Hello, I play poker badly and uh, avoid comp Phil. How are you guys doing? So, uh, one thing I want to do before I change any code is tag in, in Git that this is, um, you know, a certain version. Give it a version number, probably 1.0.0 uh, for the back end and for the front end, um, I think it's zero one zero, just because I haven't changed the default. Hey there, Adrieve. So uh, let's let me go. Let me walk through some of the issues that uh, I ran into, so that you're not surprised when you see them and you're like, "Oh, I need to report this." So things I already know about that um, the recapture isn't working for password reset requests, so it doesn't actually work yet because it goes to the back end and the back end says, "Oh, he hasn't given me a good recapture value." So password resets are not working, and uh, the cores issue. So if you go to the game through HTTP only, or if you did www, it will um, not load the client configuration. So I need to fix that. And if you look at the debug console, a few th another thing is that the um, you see some warnings about some of the JavaScript is not wasn't deployed with the correct MIME type. Prepared to complain and log tickets. Okay. Um, you notice that the fav icon, or is that fav icon? I don't know. In the app title, I haven't touched that, so it's still the original. It's still the original it says React app, so I need to fix that. And uh, what else? Some stuff that you won't see behind the scenes. So I um, didn't have the um, rotating credentials working in AWS, so it's using a fixed credential for now. Uh, it turns out port 8088 is really popular for some service. I think it's the HTTP interface to asterisk or something else. I looked it up. So I got port scanned like immediately by eight different s source IP addresses. So it was sort of annoying. Um, also, it's not, it's one of those cases where it doesn't cause an IP ban in my backend. So for now, I just, um, I just uh, am using a different port number. 
And uh, when accounts aren't created, they're not counted towards logins in the statistics. And yeah, I noticed that I had hard coded some stuff in the orchestrator. One thing was a critical bug I had to fix. The others were um, that I have to use certain names because they're hard coded. Hey there, Nui. Nui actually said hello at 10 o'clock, but I wasn't ready to start streaming, so. Uh, Nui was first. <laughs> All right. So I think today I'm going to see what happens when, um, now that I have the button open to uh, create accounts, and if there are any pressing issues, I'll work on that. Otherwise, I'm going to tag the code versions in Git. I'm going to maybe start looking at some of these issues. Actually, the recapture one is probably what I want to do first. And um, if I get through all the known issues, then some of the things I want to clean up right away are the fact that there's no title or introduction text in the um, sitting outside the um, the game. And then the tickets panel looks horrendous right now. Hey there, Armani, I hate. So let me log in and uh, see what's going on. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I have my... Uh, Super secret admin window. Okay, so we have uh, two people already created accounts. Can I? I can't see user. I actually, if I reverse this, the so rally monkey got user ID two. Void camp Phil got user ID three. Does anything actually work on the site? Good morning, Shake Soda. I don't know, are you seeing things that are broken? So uh, let me not remember me and let me get my password manager out. You cr tried to create a ticket and it didn't work. Oh no, you already bro broke something, huh? So it should work. Let me Let me try to create a ticket. Report an issue. The ticket system is broken. Oh, created a ticket for me. Let me see what I see on my screen, on the admin screen. I do see your issue. You created an account and logged in for the first time, immediately got a notification saying the ticket was created. Now I see ticket ID 3. But you can't close it. No, you can't close it. But that's on purpose. So that might not be um, explained very well. Let me add this uh, issues found during launch. And let me uh, copy paste this. So this is from, uh, hold on. So the explanation for this is uh, poorly, this is poorly described to the user. So the reason why you have that, uh, so it, it did it for me too, is um, this name check ticket is um, automatically generated when you first register an account because I want the moderators to check your username. So another thing you would, should have noticed is when you logged in, it should show a yellow text saying your name is uh, masked currently. So I can fix that right now for you guys by going to, um, I guess I could show this. <laughs> I can go to here and just say unmask and then Rally Monkey unmask. And now the yellow text should have gone away. And then I can go and close the name check tickets. So I can say, sure, Rally Monkey close lock back, close lock. And then I can actually, I should just address this one. Open this and I can actually type in that text I had. I can say, whoops, <laughs> so much for about, oh, there we go. I need to fix that. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is poorly described to the user, but the ticket you saw was auto generated and used uh, to moderate player's chosen name, e.g. is it accept Double or not. So, on purpose. 
You go to the site, you see a red admin button. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. I didn't know a way to uh, hide that. So, I guess I could show it in a third window in Firefox. So that's for me to use, and that's how I get in as an admin. And I do that with a uh, private key. So. I if I should probably figure out or think of a way, or if you guys any su have any suggestions on a way to make that hidden most of the time, and then maybe there's a key you have to hit, hit to open it up. Actually, that's a that's an interesting idea. Maybe there's a there's there's a key you have to type, and then that appears, and then I can drag my key into it. Got your game running on the new stuff yesterday. Let's see that. Shake soda. Oh, that looks cool. All right, you were talking about this is, um... Hey, where's your, where's your water, though? I want to see some, some uh, interesting water effects. <laughs> now that it can run for more than a couple consecutive seconds. Sweet. It's all those incremental steps towards greatness. Looks really nice. So, Shake Soda, did you see uh, I got some input about the water? Uh, from Irish John Gaming. I put that in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Irish John Gaming said, ah, oh, cool. Uh, well, he was, I guess this, he was responding to me saying better water effects like yours. And he's like, well, maybe realistic water might not fit because it doesn't fit the art style. But he said, two new art, uh, water effects from Abotics would look better. Recommend Lux and Aquas. And there's someone in his Discord who made a water shader that would suit. So Abotics99. So, there you go. Got the game launch again, you found race conditions in the threading? Yeah, doesn't, doesn't everybody who works with threading find race conditions? <laughs> anyway, so I would, um, if you don't know Abotics, check out Abotics. I guess that's a person on his channel. Now that I think about it, I should have gotten um, some more contact info, shouldn't I? But maybe you already know this person, or you can visit Irish John's channel and ask. When you click on the issues button, you choose an issue, then go through another button, then for the issues, still see the issue. Yeah, well, so you're expecting it to go back then? Uh, oops, I logged out. Oh no, I didn't. That's just a different screen. Uh, let me keep that up. Yeah, so you like you, you're on a, a ticket like this, and then you go back and then back. So you're expecting it to go back automatically, right? So, oh, look at that! Someone just made a new uh, <laughs> ticket. Who is that? Not to show dirty words on screen. Let me. That's Nui. Okay. And then who was the other one? Player four, Adriv. Okay, good. These are all good names. So we will um, unmask you guys and um, close those tickets. Uh, where was the other one? This one. Okay, Rally Monkey has an issue. Making a note to this issue. Suggestion. Just testing the report issue button. I see. Yeah, have fun with testing those issues. 14 month old is waving at you. Hi, hi, Rally Monkey's 14 month old. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll take this as... Uh, and look at that. I have a problem with it, with the overflow. <laughs> okay, that's two issues then. I'm going to notice that right away, too. So, description of tickets overflows and does not wrap. And then, um, so how am I going to select this? I guess I'll just look down to here and then paste.
Oh, it's the same ticket. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm just I'm just dumb. Okay. Knew about that. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get used to my own system here. So if it's new ticket system is broken, I'll say this is gonna be irritating. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I should write that down. So the uh note box is um anchored right and so resizing is strange. I'm just going to close and lock that one. And... I'll go ahead and mark that one as open. Leave it open for um, Rally Monkey to play around with. And... Oh, we have a player six. Hold on. I need to see who player six is. Font... Font case. Hunt case. Okay, I guess we'll allow that name. Close lock. All right, so yeah. Having lots of users now, I'm seeing the utility of this. I can see if people have tickets that I need to look at. Although, it'd be nice if I had showed if there was a new ticket. Uh, how about not an issue, but a uh, wish list? Uh, would be nice to highlight users having new tickets. So my idea for new is that um, it's a ticket that hasn't yet, I haven't yet looked at, and so it'll be in the um, new state. And once I look at it, I, it's, it's open. Hey there, the Epic Unknown. Feature request, add tooltips to top row of buttons. Sounds good to me. Well, I'm, I'm very happy that you're putting on the QA hat void camp, Phil. But appreciate it a lot. So yeah, this is going to be rough. We just launched it. I mean, I still haven't even um, fixed the style for this table yet. Yeah, it's live. So there's the address. Have at it. <laughs> we have already uh, one, two, three, four, six users. I probably shouldn't show that screen um, while um, I'm live because names, un non masked names show up there directly. So yeah, the one thing that's broken right now that I wanted to address first is the, uh, oh, yeah, I guess I had, I had logged up due to inactivity. And um, this should show a um, recapture check. And because it doesn't, there's no way to verify that you're not a robot. And so it doesn't actually work. So I'm going to do that first. After I tag the... Um, repositories with the with the right versions i need to start enforcing a discipline of versioning so that i can track what's on the back end what's on the front end get the fail to load oh yeah that's this bug here so make sure you go to the https and you don't put the www in there so that's a known issue yeah that's what i was going to have redirect and um, i'll probably remove that in other words redirect it as well i just yeah, ran into these issues I noticed when I uh, set it up yesterday. Hey there, Mr. Love Pickle. Okay. Yeah, so again, the known issues, I, the issues I already know about from yesterday were uh, recaptures not there and password reset. There's a chorus issue, so you ha it has to be HTTPS without the www, otherwise you get an error about loading the client config. There's some warnings in the console about wrong MIME types and the fav, fav icon and t app title are wrong still. And then the ones we found today so far uh, that there's a, there's a u user experience issue with the new ticket created when you create an account. There's an issue with description of tickets overflowing and then the note box is just wrong.
Most of, so most of UI things. That's okay, Congo. I, uh, it makes me think I should have a, a, a clear way of showing the known issues. To fix this, I think I gotta go into Amazon and uh, set a few things up, so I don't know if I'll do that on stream. I'll probably do this at, uh, after the stream. The login register screens do not support saving the credentials in the browser. Oh, did I forget to do that? No, that's the remember me button. So that's that's what this button does. Am I, unless I'm misunderstanding void comp fill. So it's opt in. You have to um you have to say yeah I, I I'm okay being um having that the credentials stay, saved in the browser. Uh, what am I doing? I should be showing the admins console. But oh, we have a new new player. Let me let me vet the name. Uh, I think that's the epic unknown. So I will um. Say the epic unknown is unmasked and close lock. There we go. New issue from Nui. I haven't seen a checkbox letting me accept some sort of terms. You no, know, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, so I need to do that. Yes, the uh, TOS and privacy policy are uh, s still need to be done. So, yeah, I suppose I should, that should be pretty high priority, right? I don't know why, but I'm, I've been procrastinating for the legal stuff. Uh, let's mark that open. I know about it. And then back. I need to be able to sort these and not show the closed ones. Uh, be able tickets. Sort by column, filter, and uh, don't show uh, checkbox to hide closed tickets. Okay, but first, I think I do want to handle the um, password reset thing. So, and before that, I should tag the repository. So let me go ahead and do that. Chrome and Firefox have credentials manager. Oh, you're right. That's what you're talking about. Prompts the user to say credentials. Okay, I need to research how to do that. Let's put that under issues. And uh, I will look into that. I think I thought I, th I thought about that like a few weeks ago. It was as a passing thought and I didn't write it down. Oh, I should have waved to the epic unknown. All right. Just, just, just to be safe here, let me also uh, make a snapshot in the servers. <laughs> that way, I don't lose your your um, your your uh, accounts. Okay, I shouldn't show that screen because anyone creating a new account with a bad word in it would show up there. All right. Uh, Okay, let me go tag the code right now. So git tag uh, front zero one zero back one zero zero. Push the tags. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna also make a release manifest. I had a command for that, right? Yeah, release. I haven't used this command except from testing. So what it does is it makes an XML which records the exact revisions of every repository that went into um, making that version. Let me update the tag. Uh, was it F? Oh, I need to I need to commit that though. Add release manifest. Uh, 
Um, what was it? Back and front. Is it gonna want me to force? Okay. Shouldn't normally do that, but um, that was a quick, quick fix. So, right, properly tag now, and let's address the uh, missing recapture thing. Although, also the one of the things that I'm going to need to do, maybe I need to do this first. Um, I need to separate the production and development environments because right now, if I go to, uh, if I even, if I start out the local, the, the um my local host cluster, it could actually overwrite the client config, and I don't want it to do that. Every time someone force pushes, a kitten dies. Ah, uh, but... No, no, don't make me think of that. <laughs> no, um, my reasoning is I did that before anyone got to it. Since I'm the only developer, I can do that. All right. Yeah, I need to do this, otherwise I can screw up the production environment quite easily. Before I, before anything, let me check my config that I'm not uh, writing to the client config. So that's um, stage uh, config. So it's false. So, so okay, I'm safe for now. And if it does write, it's going to go here, right? So let me change that right now. Let me put client config dev in there. And then also put that here. And uh, watch me accidentally obliterate the, uh, the um, production environment with this. Okay, and so this local account. I think the pro yeah, this is already going to have a problem because it's loading the client configuration, right? Yeah, so I need to fix it right away uh, in the front end. Otherwise, it's going to connect to the wrong servers. <sighs> yeah, I heard, I had, I, you have to be careful when you use this force command in that you should only, you should only do it if you can guarantee no one else would have picked up the commits or tags that you're overriding when you do that. So, so the epic unknown and Nui, basically there was no kitten, and so this didn't kill anything. <laughs> The kitten is spawned every time another developer or user sees the commit. So no one saw that commit. It's like it never existed. Never existed. It's actually that the tag, the tag, it wasn't on that. No one ever saw that tag on that commit. Okay, that, the, in, the ENV stuff. I did a little bit of research on this last night. I think all I need to do is in player console. Uh, rename this ENV, or was it uh, create? This is one that's shared, right? Let me look this up again. I've already forgotten. Mm. Pro React pr process ENV. Here it was. It gave an order in which these things are loaded. Somewhere here we go. Right, so keep the ENV around for both uh, development and production, and then I have development and production. Okay. ENV dot development, and then um, here I can define define stuff. So it'll be uh, client config is client config dev.json and then copy paste that env.production that will be client config 
Hey there, Clay man. Is it normal there is no scroll bar in the ticket ticket view thing? Let me see what you're talking about. No scroll bar. Oh. There's not enough tickets for me to see it yet, but if you click there should be a scroll bar on the right here. But this thing is really ugly. I need to fix it. <laughs> The function over form right now. Online, not a command? I should probably make that a command. Thank you, Clayman. I need a command to explain that the game platform is online. Use the force? What is this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wife's had a month of commits. Yeah, see, you have to remember that Git is really just a backup system with extra features in it. So, you know, what happens if you destroy your backup? You just make a new one. Um, it can it can be disruptive if a lot of teams are going to that same repository, but it only takes one person to force it back to uh, what it was to um, fix it. That's funny, though. Yeah, I think it's horrible to ever do that in um, automation like uh, Jenkins. It should only be done manually and only with careful thought before you hit the enter button, just like the RM command. That's funny, though. <laughs> Doesn't display for you uh, with dark theme. Is that maybe another bu bug? Or are, are you talking about the game, or are you talking about that article? Oh, the link. Uh, hold on. The link. The link. There's the link. Wait, man. So you won't see what I see. You'll see something more like this, where um, I'm not gonna have it remember me this time. Where's my password manager? There it is. You should see something like this. You can't do much in the in the game yet, other than um, you can change your password. You can show your email address and change it. You can download your data. You can delete your account. You can log out. You can report an issue or and see what issues you've are, have been open for you or you've opened and what their status is. And the 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 UI is pretty ugly ugly right now. So my apologies for that. Gonna make an account. Are we gonna we're gonna see your account get created here? It shows up, it'll show up as a new name, a name check, and then off screen, I will check the name. Oh, Rally Monkey, that's the error you'll get because of uh, this, the cores issue. So try HTTPS, try without the www, and it should work. I, I'll probably, since everyone's running into that, I'll probably fix that. Actually, I should probably just fix that first, right? I'm 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 sort of working on that now with putting I'm putting the name of the client configuration um, in here so that it's different, and then um, oh, it's out of view. You got to zoom out. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll, my my goal there will be to get rid of this scroll bar by designing it so that it doesn't normally overflow. So my thoughts were to to shrink this note down basically to look like something that maybe just a, a row underneath here and then this entire thing move it up here because there's plenty of real estate up there so you'd only see a scroll bar if there's a long history to the ticket and um, probably only scroll the history portion and not the ticket pane so yeah the fact that this that this header goes out of view when you scroll is bad right now yeah okay are you in Oh, look at that. New player. Let me vet the name. Vetting the name. Looks good. 
And you are unmasked, Clayman. You should have seen that yellow text go away from the um from the profile screen saying that you're a master. Now you're no longer masked. All right. Just unable to fetch. Oh, yeah, that's, again, that's this problem. So make sure you go to the link with HTTPS and without triple W, and then the um, client config sh sh problem should go away. I did that on purpose, Clayman, because um, it's not too much work. It's just a few seconds, and then it lets me vet the name so that if you typed in Fortnite or some other band word, just kidding. If you type in a, someone types in a dirty word here, I can um, um, keep it masked from other players so they don't see, It'd keep it family friendly, right? And a, a name check will get generated again if you change your name, by the way. You'll get remasked, and then I get to verify your name again. Oh, look, there's a new player, so let me vet the name. T-Jug, okay. I'll go okay that name. Unmask and done. See, it took me like all of five seconds to do it. Exactly, Clay, man. That would never be shown in my game. <laughs> so you saw at first it showed player whatever, player 13 or player 10, I forget what it was. But whatever T-Jug's uh, ID was, shows player and then ID, uh, that ID number. And that shows up for everyone unless, until I, uh, unless and until I unmask the player with, with a single button click in the uh, player list. Uh, probably. If it showed player 12. What if trolls cleverly avoid your manual check with strange spelling? Well, it, that's... It's my own fault if I, um, if they trick me that way. Oh yeah, if if like I'm like, oops, I shouldn't have uh, done that. Uh, here, I'll, let me drag this off screen for a second. So let's say, I can do that. There's a single button. I can mask and unmask you at will. Right, so Rally Monkey right now, you should show up as masked. And now you're player two for everybody else. So if I make an accident, and someone complains that someone's using a dirty word, I can immediately go and mask that player and ask them to change their name again. So let me go. I'm trying not to show the players list on screen because it shows unmasked player names. Now you know it also doesn't show um, who is masked in that screen. You notice you had Redux log active in production? Yeah, I noticed that. I wasn't sure if I should keep that in there or not for now because it's useful if someone runs into a bug they can I can give them instructions on how to send me the redux log I don't know what do you guys think should I keep the should I take out the redux log of lit redux log from prod or keep it in there I mean it's pro it slows things down right but it might be useful for debugging if someone if I can give someone instructions on, on how to send it to me Okay, I wanted to write down... Oh, yeah, it was a wish list item. Actually, it's the same thing. It would be nice to have new tickets or who are masked. Going to fill up the console log memory? Eh. What happens when the console log memory gets filled up, though? Doesn't it just um, rot uh, rotate? Maybe add a button to send the game state log but don't log it to console okay that's an interesting idea let's put that here should I verify what Clayman's ID is? there's actually an easy way for me to do that just go to uh, Clayman and mask Clayman and then go back here yeah Clayman's player 8 Clayman is player 8. Yeah, this is going to get annoying to me. That is showing closed tickets. Anyway, I, I'm getting sidetracked. I was working on making this client, conf the client config file name depend. So I had that in my notes on how to do this. Where did I put it? Oh, right here. So import .env from .env. 
and that's in game connection. Actually, I can't remember, so I'm going to search for it. This game connection is just buried in here. So let's get um, client config file name. Let's shorten it. And no, it's not. Let's not shorten it. So, dot env dot config. When it's loaded, oh, I didn't write the right. Write, write, I didn't write down one of the steps. Ah, uh, how did I find that the other day? I, I think I looked at my Git history for the player, and I saw it there. Because I used it several months ago. the 25th or something. I remember it being 25th. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, dot. Let's filter it down. Kitte is meowing at me very loud. What did I do? What did I do to you, cat? I fed, I fed you. I let you out. Oh, I think it was here. Process.env dot and then the variable name. Okay, got it. Process.env dot um, client config. And then we'll let me wrap wrap this a little bit. Is that to back ticks? Memory still fills up, which might be annoying. So some kind of, um, hmm. What if I had like two versions of the client and I would have people flip to the debug one if I need them to help me? Cat has determined that this is the time. I, but I let him out like twice this morning. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to prevent him from uh, interrupting my stream by letting him out a couple times. Guess it didn't work. So this goes along with um, this this suggestion. Oh, actually, that's that's there. There we go. Can't imagine the memory can be an issue. Well, we'll find out, right? So here we go. Those are those are the ideas, and I'll I'll see how it goes. So I need um, to do dot env config at some point. I need to import that. Oh, wait a minute. That... That's interesting. I'm using... Oh, that's only for the import. Okay, got it. So there's a... I can't remember where it is, but um, when the game is first loaded. Did I put that in the React part? Is it loading activity? No. I had like an effect hook. Somewhere. Maybe it was in the app. Aha, on initial load, yes. Oh, I should have this ignore um, build. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this stuff. Uh, but here's a good place to do it, right? Well, hold on. Maybe I'll build it into this. So I'll do this.
So here I'll do dot env dot config. Okay, see if that worked. Failed to compile, can't resolve dot env. I thought I didn't need to. When are you planning to start working on the game itself? This week. I have I wanna get I wanna get some of these um main issues out of the way. So if not today, then tomorrow. Because I know you guys don't want to see I know you guys want to see something, so working on it this as soon as I can. <laughs> so do I need to do npm install.env? I guess I do. I didn't think I need to do needed to do that. So yeah. That's what I thought. But maybe because I removed it. So I was using it and then I said dot env is not required. So I ended up removing it. There. Maybe this having it removed from the package lock was an, was an issue. I don't know. Can't wait for gameplay. But just don't get your expectations too high. Remember, I'm I'm a new game dev. Oh, see, that worked. Okay, where did it fetch it from, though? Um, re Reload. Undefined. <laughs> Undefined. Okay, that didn't quite work. Let's uh, debugger that. Can I look at process env? Process is not defined. Whoa, why did it jump up there? Process is not defined. I'm wondering if I have to do uh, .env. I don't know much about this .env stuff. I wonder if I have to do that here as well, or instead of here. Oh, it might be a race condition. This might not have been called yet. Um, Let's debugger here. It is hitting there first. Process is not defined. I don't get it. How do you use .env? <laughs> I should probably just look up how you're supposed to use it. Actually, just look up dot env, right? As early as possible, do that. Maybe I should just do that as is. 
Oh, you have to name a React app. Okay, that's probably my problem then, right? I didn't name it React app. Uh, let's not do it. Let's do it the way they suggest, which is uh, this. And I'll just put this back to it where it was. And here it's, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's probably it. It has to be React app something because this one was React app version. Let's call it React app client config. And then, um, there. Hey there, bug found. Import reorder to to top. Is that because I'm mixing require and import? It really doesn't want me to do that. <laughs> um so what? Put it back to um that shoot i shouldn't have made a change after undoing i have to redo that and then we'll just do dot env dot config weird uh, you need to, like it says uh, here, as early as possible, call config. Oh, so I don't need to do that? Okay. Okay, I need to uh, restart the dev server, you're saying. Oh, cool, it worked. But I need to put that file up now. So thank you, T-Jug. I can now do do this. Uh, I can go to your, uh, where did I put it? Oh, do I have, I don't have player notes yet. Hold on, let me, let me look at this off screen. I don't have player notes yet. But I can go to the, um, I can just use this ticket for now, right? I can't add. Okay. My thought was, I don't have it yet, but I can start to give um, in-game credit to certain users. But I can't yet. So um, let, me, let me record this some other way. I'll put it in my notes for now. Uh, In-game in rewards for helping, helping me during the stream. Actually, let me go back and see. How many points should I award to avoid comp fill? At least two. Uh, let's 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 give a uh, plus one uh, to all um, who created accounts today. And another one to Nui. Let me know if I missed anyone. Uh, 
Okay, let me put this on the wish list. Uh, method of awarding in-game uh, credit. Uh, points or... Or whatever that can be redeemed for for something in game. Uh, to people who help out in the stream. Rimu coin, there we go. <laughs> something like that. I need to do that. The new cryptocurrency, yeah. It'll be it'll be um in my games journal. <laughs> real uh imaginary imaginary life dollars how about that i don't i can't do the real the real dollars but i can do the imaginary dollars all right okay so the back end is done let me uh let me make sure this works now this will uh Oh, a chicken and the egg problem, isn't it? I, I need... The file needs to exist. I guess I can seed it myself. Yeah, I can... Well, how do I do that? I'll hack it. I'll hack it for now. So, um... Back at that game connection. Well, I can just hack it right now. Do that. Actually, every time I do that, do I have to restart the... Restart this? Not that I'll be changing it that often. Trying to register an account with invalid player name box... Oh, hold on. Box is called player name while the error message refers to username. Oh, that's an interesting one. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of a display glitch. Two points for Nui. Re. Okay, cool. So this should be going to the um. Oh, this won't work. <laughs> I need to hack it a different way for now. So put that back and uh, restart it again. Oh no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It has to have have to hack both of them. That has to load it from there, but then um, when it actually connects for a little bit, it has to go to um, localhost. Someone gifted you an atom sub. Nice. Congrats, Clay man. Okay, the uh, rainy outside. Rain's, is rain good? Some people hate the rain. Oh, where was it? WSS, right? Yeah, so I need to hack this. To go to a local host for now. Oh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Actually, it'll go to two out of three of the servers. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So let me make sure this is going to the correct... Okay, so let me log in. Actually, um, all I really need is to uh, load the... Um, hold on. The test key here. Wait a minute, it's, why is it connected to the real server still? Okay, that must have been a glitch. So now it's going to the correct servers. Interesting, it's connecting to all three of them. Oh, no, it's connecting to two of them? Why is it showing this one in green, though? That one has the wrong port number. Oh no, it is going to 8088. Why would that be? This should have had the wrong um, port number in it. 
8087. Oh, is it getting the configuration from one of the other servers? Oh, that's clever. Okay, anyway, so to fix this, I need to um, tell it to change the configuration. So download, show in folder, and just re-upload. Should cause it to rewrite it, right? Oh, wait, uh, no, I didn't... Um, To change it. Right. I didn't. Okay, so I need to do that. And then re-upload it. And let's see, did it do did it write the config? Yes, it wrote it. Cool. So that means I should be able to undo this hack. Undo that hack, and then this hack undo as well. And it should just connect to the correct stuff now. Um, that I need to log out of, though. And restart this. Okay. You like when it's raining out? Not when you're under it without... Pro yeah, the same way. It, it's nice when you're inside when it's raining outside. Adam E.J. indeed. And I'll give you a, a Raimu E.J. in response. Maybe you could add the game URL to the stream title so newcomers to the stream know where to go. I could. I should do that. I didn't do it at first because I was uh, worried that the game would just crash and then I'd, um, I'd be overwhelmed. So now that it doesn't look like it's being overwhelmed, let's go ahead and do that. And I will uh, award a point to Congo. Should Congo ever create an a account in the game? Let me go update the stream title. Will it fit in the t stream title? I put it in the end of the stream title. I should, yeah, I'll, I'll make a command for tomorrow that prints the link out. All right. Testing this, right? Did it go to the correct place? It did not. That time it did. All right. So, admin. It's going to localhost, right? Okay, cool. So, that means prod and endeavor, completely different environments. This is sweet. Okay, let me check that in. Okay, we're done with git k. Where is the git k window? Here it is. Done with that. If you try to register and don't have third party scripts enabled, there won't be any capture to check, and there's no visual indication that there is none. And trying to sign up just gets bad password. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't know about this third party scripts enable thing. Uh, that rabbit is just a random avatar that I picked. There's a story behind it with the, the kids and uh, the Easter Bunny, but for my stream, it's just I wanted to have a, a avatar picture, not my face, and I just picked whatever I had available. It's just no real... Um... Let me give three points to Nui for this. This is a uh, error, right? I didn't know about this third-party scripts enable thing. I didn't realize that. How do you how do you bear, how do you turn off third-party scripts? Is that something in the settings? <clears throat> I probably would have to put something in that dialog uh, here um, that says 
you should see a capture. If you don't, then um, enable third-party scripts or something like that. Get a blank screen that says loading. Uh, is it broken? It should say loading and then pop up immediately. Make sure it's HTTPS and without the triple W on it. So there it is. Okay, yeah, that's the real CAPTCHA. On this one, if I do log out, that's the test CAPTCHA, good, okay. So how would I check that? That's like, how do you disable third-party scripts? So that's Chrome, disable third-party scripts. I mean, you can't Java, you can't disable JavaScript for the whole thing. The, the app won't even run. I didn't know there was a way to um, disable third-party scripts. Oh, using U Matrix. Okay. So I might, I, I might need to get that installed. I'll look into that later. Okay. So the uh, check-in. I guess we'll check these in together. So we're introducing a um, env variable for where the client configuration is, and then we're using .env. Actually, we, I might not need that. Let me tr let me try to unstage those and build again. Right. So make uh, client configuration an env. Variable. Client config file name. Let me stash and let me stash that and try it without without it. Stash that and then um, restart this. I have an idea that I probably don't need it. Installs on loading. Yeah, so that's um, that's a known issue. There's a chorus problem with uh, if it's HTTP or if there if you go to the triple W subdomain, it's not um, loading the client configuration correctly. So um, I need to fix that. That's pro everyone's running into that. So that sounds like that's some that's more important than getting this recapture done. So I think I'll work on that first. To test it, though, I guess I go to um, HTTPS. No. How would I test that? The course issue. Actually, didn't I recreate it by doing 127.0.0.1? Yeah, this thing. You get a toast about it. Can't fetch it. Um... So that's slightly different, isn't it? I don't know if I can test it in dev without having a domain name instead of localhost and having a server that's set up the same way as AWS. Yeah, that's the core's issue. Let, let me just let me just attempt to fix it without testing it in dev. <laughs> Cuz nothing ever that 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 uh that's that's always worked for everyone, never gone wrong, right? So the I think the issue is that when it's low when we pick the URL, where is it? Uh I don't remember. No wait, I was just there. What do I mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? Don't remember. Right here, it has this part hard coded, 
So instead of hard coding that, I think I think they I think I just do that, right? Isn't that the solution? So then it should request it from the same site. Is it that easy? Oh, but it doesn't work in it doesn't work in dev because it needs to go to the real file. Yeah, okay. Actually, hmm. I could build the client config directly into the back into the front end for dev. Then it doesn't even need to be on S3, does it? So I, I, if I do that, then I have to include it here under public, which I can do. Let me do that. I just need to grab it. Um, can I grab it here? No, but I can... Oh, wait a minute, I can... If I do that... And then grab its contents. And just, yeah, copy paste and then make a new file here. Paste. There we go. And then save that um, public, call it client config dev.json. And then I can switch this one to that, and then it should work, right? Yeah, okay. Only problem is it won't actually go to the real web server. I have to manually copy it. I, okay, so I, I think I don't want to do it that way. What if I have another variable that has the um, URL in here? Client config uh, server. Let's call this path while I'm at it. And then... Um, and the dot emv development put that there and then for prod just leave it empty and that's going to put path here Did I flip them? I think I did. I got them backwards. Okay, development. Oh, no, I, I had them. I had them correct. <laughs> when in production, go well. Let's just put the slash in there and then have this a slash there. So when in production, you just go to the same server, and that's the production. Development, go to the server, but go to that path. Okay. And then this I can remove. Uh, I need to use this variable here. Okay, let me rebuild. Wouldn't a URL the protocol? It, it works because it fills in the... Um, the authority and the scheme for you. I think. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it works. Well, it works in development. Let me test. Let me hack this so that instead of... Let's pretend that it's in production. So just go to slash. Yeah, see, it just goes to the same URL. And I had a copy there, so that's why it still works. Let me remove that. Yep, 
Yeah, so it's still going. It goes to so if I if I do do uh, one two seven zero zero one, it'll go to one two seven zero zero one colon three thousand. So it it should work. So let me unhack that. All right, and I guess that means um, that should fix the chorus issue. For HTTPS. Maybe the www too. So let me let me push it to production and see. <laughs> to do this right, let me um, check it in first, and then I need to tag it. So this is a fix to the cores issue. Uh, fix cores issue loading client configuration. Uh, get server URL from uh, .env on production. Use the same. Use the source. What do you call that? The source server slash in development. I guess I should say in instead of on. In development, force it to the uh, S3 bucket, which will which will need to have a, a local host. I actually don't really like this, but it'll need to have a local host cores. Uh, what do you call it? Entry for now. I want to wrap all the process env stuff into one environment js or something like that even instead of having two different files like that i don't know how to do that but i'll look that up so that i'll give you a point for that it also redirect non https yeah so that that's what i was i need to give bug found a point anyway but I was planning to do that. I had that up here. Uh, redirect. I don't think I need to redirect the triple W. I think it'll just work. But um, that's probably a good idea. Well, actually, does it? I think it'll just work without that. Just get rid of the chorus problem. It doesn't care how you get the client files. If you want to get them without security, then it's fine. Oh, there might still be an issue going to the uh, servers, though. Not sure about that. I'll, I'll, we'll check. So let me commit that. Let me tag this. This is... I didn't change anything in the front end, right? I mean the back end. I didn't change anything in the back end. No, it's only front end stuff. So I only need to move the front end label. Oh, which means I should update the client version. And to get into this habit of always doing this. So that version number is where? In um, package JSON? Yeah, there we go. Updated. Actually, while we're at it, should I just change this name? And there was a... Uh, Why is it not like that? Oh, really? Okay. Actually, I can leave that as is, right? That's not the important one. It is the... Uh, where is it? This shortening, this manifest, right? I need to update that. Where was that? Is that just called manifest? Manifest. I just, th this one I've been needing, meaning to fix. So name. Front end. We'll just call it that. And I don't have a fav icon yet, so we'll just keep, we'll just continue to use the React one for now. 
you redirect to HTTPS, you might want to set HTST. HSTS. H. Okay. I don't know if I want to redirect yet, but I'll leave. I'll keep that note. See, soon I'll have a bot that I can that automatically will do points, and I'll have it in a a shortcut of some kind. But yeah, for now I'm manually counting points. That should be filed here somewhere, right? It's not an issue. Let's make this a separate note. And that's um a like I I'll just pretend that you actually wrote it H S T S. Direct transport security. Got it. Before I commit this, actually, we you know what I want to do is uh, do a um, npm run build and then look at it. This one is... Uh, Set app name. And this is a bump front end version number. You just deploy manually. Right now I have it deploy manually. In fact, it's super uh, old school <laughs> of just copying it to S3. You'll see me do it in a second. Um, that, that is something I need to do. Otherwise, it's going to get really annoying to me. Um, make a uh, front-end deployment tool. Just do something quick in, in Python, probably. All right. Let me just look at... Actually, I don't need to look at it in, in uh, Windows Explorer. I can look at it here. Build... Did that change the name? I don't even think I need that pre-cache. Yeah, so the way I, I update some of these files is so I do AWS S3 sync build static to S3 on the arena.com slash static and then for the uh, index it is uh, and the manifest actually I should just check so these are the files that changed since yesterday so for those I do an AW, I have to do it very carefully that, so that it's not cached. It's copy. I should do this in a script. Uh, I have this in my notes. Cache control. Max age equals zero. User time path. Oh, because it's not in there, it's in a uh, build. Okay. And I want to do the same thing with asset manifest and index. I don't think I need to worry about the service worker because I'm not using that. So I need to ma automate that, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, you can ridicule me and make fun of me. That's fine. 
You can get logged out for being inactive. Yeah, I have it set to 10 minutes. Is that too short? Yeah, I thought about that too. That maybe remember me. You, um, thing is, I don't want people to stay logged into the server forever. So I need to kick him out at some point. But I probably 10 minutes is too short. I can fix that in a minute. Let me let me write this down as feedback. All right, so um, it, there's no auto update right now, but if you refresh, you should get the latest client. And how would I tell that? That the version number should be... Okay, the title's still wrong, but the manifest is correct now. And let me try the uh, course thing. So if I just go to without the S, now it works. Cool. And can I go to www? Yeah. So it just works now. So that should that should uh, fix the chorus problem for everyone. Should I post these bugs? You can either post them in the internal tracker or tell them to me. Probably if in the if it's in in the internal tracker, I'm more likely to um, not forget them because they're automatically going in there. So let me refresh that. Ooh, we had a bunch of new players. And someone changed their name. So let me let me look at this ticket. Uh T Jug. Wait a minute. T Jug changed their name and changed it back? No, it's fine. I wanted to, I wanted to see what's going on. Cuz I'm looking at it and it looks like Did you change your name and then change it back? Oh, the problem is this doesn't show in the details. I need to fix that. So that's a bug. I could see it if I looked at the journal directly. Um yeah. So Name history isn't showing up uh, in name check tickets. It's uh, you probably changed it and then changed it back to T drug, right? So let me go back and uh, unmask you again. All right. In the meantime, I got five more players to to verify here. That looks good. So Cardigan is unmasked. And then next is player 11. Player 11 is bug found. The bug found is now unmasked. And then I already know I want to um, streamline this. Player 12 is CloudJR. Unmask. Player 14, failed reality. And player 15, the Lolo. Unmask. All right. A manually proving names is never going to scale. It, it, it will scale if I start to uh, appoint moderators in the game. It's online, yeah. Well, not that there is a, a game yet, but you can register an account, which we've had a bunch of people. Oh, Nui's reported a new issue. You can get logged out, right. Good, so let me fix that right now. So I will grab the configuration and then open it. Show in folder and then open it. So, oh, actually, I probably shouldn't show this on screen. Let me, um, let me open that in a different viewer. Let me just make sure that there's nothing. Yeah, let me just keep it off. 
There's nothing really that sensitive in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in a different window off screen here. So I'm, I'm going to change the uh, player and activity timeout to, uh, what should we set it to? How about four hours? What's four hours? Four times 3,600, 14,400. Okay, so I updated that. And I'm dragging it back. There we go. So, I leak private keys win. Hopefully never. <laughs> the only thing that might be sensitive in that config file is my IP address whitelist, which has my own IP address in it. Uh, which, I mean, is not super sensitive, but it would be annoying if um, if I showed it. So, all the uh, actual private keys are stored in uh, secrets files uh, elsewhere, not in the configuration. So, yeah, I don't have a static IP. It's just I would it would be annoying because I'd probably want to just release that IP and get a and get a new one. All right. So let me update this ticket and say uh, I have uh, for now. I have um, increased the inactivity timeout to four uh, from ten minutes to four hours. I'm going to take your ideas in about remember me into consideration. So to uh, Im improve the mechanism uh, soon. TM. <laughs> so what I'll do here is I'll, I'll close it, but I'm not going to lock it. So if Nui want, if you want to add more notes, you can, or if you um, want to reopen it because you want me to address it again, you can. So you should have the reopen button and the add note button. Although, where did that box go? Weird. I need to fix that. Oh, more new, uh, more new ones. How come it's showing up as new? Okay, this is a new, new one. Okay, it was this one. Yeah, the, this box is really flaky. Look at that. Need to fix that. That's going to be really annoying to me. Oh, we have a player 16. Let me vet this player's name. Okay. Looks good. And we're done. Con Welcome Congo 2002. Bug found has more bugs. Cannot make the game work. <laughs> All right. And then what's the other one? Support for Kappa emoji. That's a good idea. Build emojis in, because this is supposed to be heavily integrated. I'll say, great idea. Seems good. I'll leave that open. Scroll bar is f for this little frame out of bounds. Yeah, that's, uh, sorry about that. I'll fix that. Open that. Trying to register account with invalid player name. Oh yeah, that was in the, my notes already. Yep. Okay, keep that open. Try to register you don't have a third party. Yeah, that one we know about too. Thank you for all the feedback, people. Got a lot of tickets. I already want to um, put some time into the um, cleaning this tickets view up. Okay. Do I work on that next or do I address one of these other bugs? You crash something when adding a really long note? Did you get like a console error? Lost connection to server. Uh-oh. Let me peek at the, uh, the server. Oh, 
WebSocket frame too large. Someone got banned. Yeah, you got a uh, web socket frame too large. That must have been a huge message, though. It's not permanent ban. Uh, it'll reset after 60 seconds. This should be able to log back in in like 60 seconds. Sorry about that, T-Jug. How did you get the web socket frame too large? Because that's, that's a large number. Too large uh, frame size. So if you went above a hundred kilobytes, I think somehow. Oh, did you did you actually on purpose test? I mean, you get a point for that. I'm sorry you got banned for sixty seconds. Maybe I should award you more points for testing stuff. Oh, you reached the limit. Yeah. I should the sh the limit should only apply for new tickets though. That's a bug. Uh, thank you, Nui. That's a bug. So um, ticket limit should only apply to tickets in the new state. Let me lift that number for you uh, right now. So that's yet another configuration thing I can do. Download it. Tickets. So I have it set to 5. I'll set it to 15 for now. Then you can open 10 more. So drag that back here. Okay, now you should be able to open up to 15. Yeah, oh, so back to this. Um, let's give T-Jug some more points. Let's give T-Jug three more points. Plus three for uh, testing the... Uh, uh, what are we calling it? WebSocket frame size limit with an incredibly large uh, note. Added to a ticket. Thank you. Sorry you got banned for 60 seconds, but uh, that's what that's what that's working as intended. It's to try to stop abuse. So it should have reset by now. You should be able to log back in. Okay. Cool. Interactive software development. That's right. All right. More tickets. Whoa. <laughs> oh, good one. No, but as long as it fits under 100K, then it, then it works. Good one. Uh, I'm going to close that one, though. <laughs> You open any file in the admin box, you briefly see the main screen. Oh yeah, that that's fine. You'll be you'll you'll be able to see these panels, but they'll all be empty. Yeah, you it won't it won't go through. So I think I'm gonna keep this as is, so uh, I think that's it's fine. It's um, only meant for the admin anyway. Um, the ad admin panels you can you can already f uh, get to the code since since it's included in in the JS of the front end. However. Uh, this is going to be annoying because it's going to sh these notes don't sh don't uh, word wrap. I'll have to fix that. How many times have I said I'm going to have to fix that? Probably uh, twenty seven times today. However, 
Um, they should all be non-functional with no data, because there's no actual backend connection. Yeah, so it, it completely overflows and you won't be able to read it. <laughs> uh, but let me keep that open because there, there are some things I might want to do with that. Oh, we have a player 17. Who's player 17? Jake, all right. Unmask, and we're good. All right. Hey there, Jake. Okay, so I've collected a lot of bugs. Thank you for all your help. And thanks for the follow, Benja. So, now I get to decide what to do next. This chorus thing was a big problem. That's fixed now. So this stuff isn't so bad. Maybe we'll leave that for now. Have to fix that marathon. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to strike a balance now between um, fixing things and then moving forward with the game because, you know, I've been working on this game for now almost seven months and I don't have a game yet. And people have started to point out to me that it's it's a problem that I am too perfectionistic in getting all the little details for, for things that I don't really need all the details for yet. So, for example, I'm... I'm um, naturally inclined to go work on this ticketing system to clean it up a bit but i think most people are waiting for a game world to appear and so i have to resist that natural urge to spend like weeks and weeks to make this perfect and instead like push on to actually have some game content so that might be what i do for the rest of today is try to add some game content so that would be in the form of adding in phaser and then actually showing something Yep, John Mega has been working on a programming language. Right. But if you had people that were waiting to see it compile something, you'd probably stop working on the nitty-gritty details and then get it to get it to work work with some source file input, right? <laughs> so, what would be the first step to making a game world? Yeah, I need I need phaser in there. I need some way to get game tiles in there. Maybe I'll hard code it to begin with. I'm thinking back to the prototype. So if you guys haven't seen it, there's this highlight clip, right? So there, I um, kept all the art on the front end for convenience, and then I had the back end just refer to tiles by names. Right? Yeah, procrastination is something that I do a lot and need to get out of the habit of that. <laughs> oh, another issue from Nui. In the ticket description, I could revert the double new lines into new paragraphs. And easily show... Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's a good one. Good one. Open. Okay, I need to quick take a quick break, but I think when I come back, I'm going to um, first start by making this have a phaser stage of, of some kind, and maybe some test art. And because I'm not changing the index, I shouldn't need to do more than the AWS sync, right? Actually, I need to check. If, it, if index HTML isn't changing, I'm only changing the um, JS, then that... This command is actually short enough I could just put it into a batch file, and that'd be my, my deployment script. Yeah. Okay, I'll be, I need to go take a break. I'll be right back.
Hey, I'm back. All right. Thanks, Nui. All right. Oh, I never uh, tagged and pushed the tag to the front end. Cool. All right. I actually did that in reverse order, didn't I? I pushed the tag and then I pushed the commit. That should still work, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, to pull in phaser, what I need to do, I need to look at what I did in that iron glove prototype. Just phaser, okay. We can do that. Oh, did I stop running this? Okay. Whatever. Oh, not phase. Phaser. Oh, I can I can drop the stash too that I had for the dot env, right? Let me do that too while I'm waiting. Drop. All right. Removed a package. What did it remove? Okay. Okay, so the stage has the phaser. Um, stage, right? Let's pin that and then front end. Can close some of this stuff. Source, views, activities. Right here is where the phaser stage is going to be. So I need to think about how this integrates back into the Redux, though. I think I need to have a special middleware that holds on to the phaser stage and can operate on it, right? Right, so this container is how it's hooked up, right? Oh, okay. So all I need is to is to give it an ID tag. And then from the middle where I could create it. So we get rid of the game where it will be displayed here. Or should I keep it for now? Let's get rid of it. And just, yeah, do what I did there. It's a div with a class and an ID. Uh, let's just call it stage. Oop. Uh, this is a test one. Correct. Bradbury horse staple. Oh, uh, is it? I'm not running it, am I? I am running it. Oh, this self sign cert problem. You don't have to deal with that in production. Bad password. Huh. Maybe my account doesn't exist.
Oh, that's interesting. Why did these not load? Is this because... Oh, it's not running. <laughs> the server's not running. Yeah, that would be a problem. Oh, my account doesn't exist. Did I wipe the state at some point? I think I did. So that's why I can't log in, because uh, it doesn't exist. So let's create a new account. All right. That's all I really need because I'm going to play around with that stage now. So let's make a new middleware called uh, Phaser. Or should it just be called the stage? And the stage happens to use Phaser. Maybe. Here's a nice small middleware we can copy from. To create the stage, there's that on initial loaded, right? Reflect initial load. Actually, we have to. We need to create it whenever we start playing, and then we need to destroy it when we stop playing. So that's different. That's where. Um, session reducer. Session start, session end, I think. Let me look for this. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was under stage reducer. Login complete. Okay. I need to capture these basically. Um. Oh, how did I name these? I just named them after the action. Okay, so this is just log in complete. Something tells me I wanted to make that one word. No? Hmm, okay. Login complete. Log out complete. I wonder if I should have special actions for sh showing and hiding the stage. Hey there, Cargo Shorts Rule. Just a new computer science major. You know this is a broadcast, but is there any advice you can give that... Uh, 
that I wish I knew when I first started? Not really. When I first started, I was just learning everything, and there wasn't anything that I learned incorrectly, I guess you could say. Although one one thing that comes to mind is something I wish I knew when I started might be expect to have a lot of... Let me start over. Expect to... No. Let me start over a third time. <laughs> when you start learning things, you start to think that you be, you're, you're becoming an expert. You're almost always wrong. Uh, you'll find out that there's even more you need to learn. And there's even more than that that you need to learn. So, so one thing I wish I knew when I started was there's just a lot to learn. You never stop learning. So don't fall into the trap of thinking you're done learning and that you're, you're a master or an expert at anything. Uh, because what, what can happen if you, if you stop learning, you um, will have a hard time starting to learn again. You'll get kind of stuck in your ways and other people will pass you by. So yeah, keep learning. And I have a, uh, a a few words of encouragement there, if you want to see. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly what Joe Mega said. We're all noobs. We've just been doing it for a while. Um, I think I do want special actions to show and hide the stage, so... I gotta be careful, though. Where is this? This gets called... here. I need to make sure it's done... After the DOM has been updated, right? I guess I want to do it with an effect then, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think that's right. So I do want to have um, separate actions for this. Let's make one uh, show stage. And another one, hide stage. All right, and then... This is show stage. And hide stage. And then uh, I need to actually pull in this new middleware when we uh, create the store. So oh, thanks for the follow. Upgrading Dave. Is Dave fully upgraded yet? Or no, we always, just like we were talking about with programming and learning, you'll be always up upgrading Dave. Never stop upgrading. Stage goes here, right? Import st stage from middle where stage hey there tim so check it out tim got my online platform going and actually we have a new player let me vet the name first red sky sure so let me unmask red sky unmask done So we have a bunch of players of, uh, there's no game yet, but uh, the platform I ha that I've been working on is now up and running where you can uh, create an account. And that's about all you can do right now, create an account. Um, I'm working right now on um, actually making this a phaser stage so I can uh, draw graphics. So anyone who doesn't know, Tim is an excellent streamer here on Twitch. 
he's been working on his own game engine in C++ and a uh, rocket-powered racing game. And I think he's in transition from one project to another with other various side projects, so it's always a fun time to watch his stream. Jelmega, that's an interesting mangled name. That reminds me of the Terminator movie. T5 Array. I'll be back. You are not a robot, no. You are not. Definitely not a robot. You might be a turtle, but you're definitely not a robot. Unless you're a robotic turtle. You know, such things may be possible. So I'm going to end up putting stage here. This is sort of in order of um, how common it is for middleware to handle the message. All right, so the middleware is there. So I need to, in the playing activity, have an effect that we'll use to um, show and hide the stage. So... Um, that's a, a, a single-use effect, right? So... Use effect. With that means it's only done once, and then... Um, it's like if we return a function, it calls that when we unload. So it'll be... Uh, a dismat actually we need to have props for this right so props um, show stage and hide stage so show stage and then we we'll return an arrow function which hides the stage right and then we'll define these props uh, down here oh I should have on in front Are you player 19? Let's see. Oh, we have two new players. Let me vet the names. Oh, yeah, Tim, you're player 19. So now I am unmasking you. And then player 20 is... Grick. Unmask. So these aren't player numbers, these are ticket numbers. But every time someone creates an account or changes their name, I get a ticket in the in-game to uh, vet the name. Well, do you really think that a whole lot of players will come in? It, that would be a good problem to have. If that happens, I'll probably uh, either soften up the name check, like maybe so semi-automate it, where like, if it looks like it might be a, a a bad word, then it would get moderated, otherwise not. Or I would um, just nominate helpers to help moderate the name check tickets. Yeah, the target is, is to have that problem, exactly. Hey, the 3D extended. The, tar the target, the goal is to have a problem with, with uh, having too many players. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I should actually have put that in the command. I didn't put the link to the game platform in the command because I wasn't sure if it would actually stay running because nothing works on the f the first day, the first time. But it's actually running pretty well. In fact, I'm going to go and tell it to snapshot again because I'm nervous. So I can, um, whenever I hit this button snapshot, it, it uh, makes a backup of the game on the back end. So, uh, yeah. You can show the actual name next to the masked one in the overview and have a quick button to unmask. Yeah, that's definitely what I need, need to do. Right now it's it's like five or six seconds, and that would reduce it to less than a second. I, I did want, want to do that. I just forgot to write it down. That's like a wish list thing. Actually, uh, let's put that as a point. This is where, how I'm tracking points right now until I have it integrated into the game. It's a shame how few people watch programming streams. Eh. It's a sort of a niche thing. Most people like to watch people playing games or doing art, actually. Going through a webinar right now hopefully helps with creating ideas to reach audience. Yeah, that's the number one problem we have 
uh, making games is uh, getting noticed. Oh, shouldn't allow it to be spammable? It's as spammable as any other command in the game. You'll just get many copies of your data, play poker badly. Now, if there's a lot of data, I suppose that could be a problem. Is that what you're saying? I play poker badly? Should I just call you poker for short? So that might be an issue in that it is uh, a lot of bandwidth. Yeah, exactly. So uh, how about a separate late rate, late rate limit for this? <laughs> Hard to get a game noticed. Yeah, imagine a programming language. Exactly. 3 and E look the same? Really? I kind of like the font, but... Eh, you know, the other issue I have is U and V look pretty similar. Can, that looks like a V to me, almost. Yeah, I'm like, I, I like the font, but... Eh, it is what it is. Oh, player 21. Nothing's perfect, right? Who's player 21? ED extended. <laughs> really, is it? Okay. I'm I'm unmasking your name. I think you typed an E, not a three. Do I sometimes experience an imposter syndrome? All the time. All the time. That's just something that I got to deal with. I'd rather have the... Imposter syndrome means that you don't feel like you have the, the experience and skill that you actually have, right? I'd rather have that than be full of myself and be over prideful. That I don't want to be. Yeah. So that's one vote for against this font. You know what I was thinking about the other day? I could make the font configurable because I don't, I don't really mind if people want to use their own font. Let me mark that as an issue. Hold on. I lost the... I like the emotes too. I'll put that in here. I'm, I'm getting a lot of feedback today, which is great. So idea is uh, allow user to, um, to pick their own font. Or choose from a set of available fonts. Oh yeah, we're going to be saying BVG found instead of bug found. <laughs> yeah, so right now the font is included directly in the front end, so it shows up in the CSS. Actually, I guess you could hack the CSS if you go to uh, the body and just change the font family. So so uh let me let me show that so if i went to um okay i don't want to show the debug tools for that that's all that's a, that would be a mistake so but let me find the um oh this is broken right now uh, let me log into the actual game grab my password Actually, even that might be dangerous to show. Uh, until I show the right tab. Yeah, this one's safe to show. So we can go in here and uh, under the CSS for body and just wipe out the metamorphosis. There we go. That's what it looks like with Arial. So, uh, a built-in way in the app to do that would probably not be that hard, right? Just uh, override the uh, body uh, style and change the uh, font to something else. 
Yeah. The password won't show up here, but will will show up, and it still wouldn't be that bad. Is it show? It'll show my login token and my email address, which the login token only works for my IP address, and my email address is not too secret because it's in Git. So still good. Uh, a good habit would be to to keep that protected, right? All right. Dispatch actions. Uh, hide stage. There's an awesome channel on game design, which is serious on designing the people for visibility. So that's a good idea. Thank you for that. Let me put this separately. I don't. I'm getting a lot of notes today, and I'm getting kind of worried that I'm not organizing it very well. What's going on with my keyboard here? On hide stage, and then on show stage. This needs an on in front. What was the key to uppercase? There we go. All right, let's see if this works. Here. So it should have done a show stage. Here's the show stage. And then the hide stage should happen when I uh, log out, right? Hide stage. Good. And then log in again. Show stage. And then when I uh, reload, it should hide and then show. Or it should just show. Okay, cool. I think it's working. Left a test suggestion. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm welcoming all the suggestions. So you put it in game, so I should be able to see that. Yep, we have a reported issue. You didn't put a note in there. Oh, just have creating a test suggestion. Seems good. So I need to work on the the. There's lots of issues with the UI here, but um, the mechanics under in, in the back end work fine. It's just that the front end, I'm just drawing it really badly. I'll keep that open though. If you want to keep putting notes in there, that's fine. Well, we have a new oh, we have two new players. Let me vet the names. You got a big a big green updated? Oh, yeah, you should get yeah, whenever I update a ticket, it will um uh, show us a toast for you. Oh, you fixed the the name. I got it. So there should be a name change Restriction 3D extended. It shouldn't let you change your name again for another 30 days. <laughs> but um, there's actually a way around that. You could delete your account and recreate it. I haven't thought about corner cases like that yet. Okay, who is the other one I need to vet? Heavy set Steve. Okay, in all caps. I guess we'll allow that. Since it's all, it's heavy set, sort of goes with the all caps. Yeah, I definitely need to work on this. Anyway. Yeah, Nui's got a lot of points already just helping out with a lot of bugs and suggestions, right? At least four points. I don't know if I've been tracking these points very well. It's something maybe I should... Um, create standard rules for and then um, automate and then l allow mods to assign them as well. All right. Okay, now that the um, actions are coming in, I should be able to actually create the stage here. 
So I'll pull in Phaser. Phaser, and then we'll create... It's a create phaser something, right? I forget what it is. Yeah, exactly, Tim. I, and I also I want my bot to be integrated with the game. Actually, you know what I want? Is I want the bot to be running from the game's back end directly. Yeah, but I can do better than this, right? I could actually have... Um, I need to store the points. I need to have some uh, standard things like suggestion or found a bug or, you know, have different points associated with them. I should at least do that much. All right, so I need to do this basically. And then that's the show. And then I don't actually have a destroy game, do I? Does that return it? That does, doesn't it? Wait a minute, where does this phaser go? Oh, it stores it there. Okay, so I need some of this stuff too. And I need to change it from class looking to function looking. All right, we'll fix this up. We'll do some work here. Ah, I am slip keyboard slipping. My keyboard's not s lined up or something. There we go. Hey there, Adam. Hosting me with 141 viewers? Wow. Hey, guess what, Adam? Look what's running online. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'm going to get a ton of new uh, players show up now. Yeah, so I'm working on a game. The game doesn't exist yet, but it, when it does, it'll be shown here. You can log into it now. But all you can really do is create an account and pick a name and change your name, and that's about it. Yeah, I need to make a command for that. How was your stream, Adam? I saw the first hour of it, and it was great to see you back at work. I hope you enjoyed your vacation. Ducks. I'm being attacked by ducks. <laughs> oh, look, we have a new player. So I, I don't like to show it on stream because it might be a bad word. No, it's okay. So it's just SB Eve. So I... um. I, I really need to have a single button here that says approve name, but right now the approve name is, is uh, it will be shorthand for close, lock, and then go to the players list and unmask them. And I have two more players in the meantime. Let me go uh, vet their names. Omnom, okay. <laughs> unmask that one, and then we have uh, Ella Giggle. All right. <laughs> nice names. Hello, Giggle. Cool. Smooth transition from vacation. Cool. Didn't I just validate it, Hideo? <laughs> How come that link isn't working for me? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can't. Um, you can't get a name with special punctuation in it. But um, yeah, I appreciate the uh, the hidden um, plug there. By the way, for those who don't know, there's this other game made by this dude named Adam, who you might not know. And uh, how come I shout out? Okay, there's the shout out. It is an auto a strategy game with a focus on automation, and that was a very clever plug there, Adam. I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's two more accounts. Let me vet them. Goon Pontoon, all right. And then who do we have? Twenty seven is and Julie. Nice. Just so you guys know, there's no game yet. I'm working on that. <laughs> I 
I'm literally adding the uh, phaser stage right now. I am. I pulled code out of my uh, prototype and and fixing it up to work with uh, um, React hooks right now. Hurry! Oh, check the last message. There's no client side name validation. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that is a bug. Yeah, it should not have done that. That's true. So I will um, call that an issue found. Actually, I have a special thing in Game Awards for people helping during the stream. So we'll give, uh, because it was a clever shout out, a plug, we'll give, we'll give you three points. Yeah, it shouldn't do that. It should um, probably just validate as you type it, right? Why phaser over pixie or any other? So I'm picking phaser because it also supports sound. That's really the only reason. Other than that, like I tried side by side and they were pretty much the same. Sorry, Adam, didn't see the chat, r chat right away. I get kind of overwhelmed with a lot of chat. Okay. Change my web page title. Yeah, it's on the list. You want to see my list? Okay, so issues that I ran into right away before I even launched the game is I'm not handling the rotating credentials right with the uh, AWS role. So I have a temporary credential in the back end. Port 8088 was actually scanned a lot. So, and I wasn't IP banning that. So right now I'm just using a different port number. There's no recapture on the password reset, so you can't reset your password right now. There was a big cores issue, which I solved on st on stream. So I'm glad I did that before all you guys showed up. And uh, the fav icon and app title were still React app, and that's what you guys were just telling me about, uh, Hideo. And then I ran into a whole bunch of issues the moment I opened it up. So I've been collecting those and I have, I'll, I'll have to, after the stream, I'll have to go through and uh, sort them. But there's a lot of both issues and wish lists. And then I was awarding points for things people were finding. And yeah, but I'm trying to take a, a somewhat new approach for me, which is rather than um, focus too much on perfection, I'm um, trying to push to actually add game content. Yeah, you'll be able to chat in game here. I'm, I'm thinking, it'll be kind of like World of Warcraft, where there'll be whisper, tell, and then yell, and yell. Everyone in the whole zone hears it. If you just say something, you have to be near them in the game world to see it, and then whisper is uh, directed to a single player. Empty, tra yeah. I have a, I, I reduced the password strength thing pretty low. Basically, it allows Hunter 2 and Chickens, but it won't let you type in password or password 1 or empty string or any of that. Uh, yeah. So I have... Uh, where would that title be? Actually, that should be pretty easy to fix, right? That is in... Where's the title? Is that app that does that? I actually don't know where that React app comes from. Would it come from the metadata? I don't think I pushed that. That might be why we don't, we're not seeing it. Uh, I'll worry about it later. You think it is in... Oh, in HTML. I don't think I've ever touched that file. <laughs> yes. React app. It's too bad it doesn't pull it from the manifest because that's I did update that. I guess I just updated now. But I uh, will not push that immediately per to production. But next time, it should fix that. And I need to make a fav icon. Is it fav icon or fav icon? Right now, we're just borrowing the React one. What's the reasoning behind using React here? The uh, user interface panels are all in React. So um, it's sort of a dual UI in that there's the phaser part of the UI and then there's a the React part of the UI. You can use React Helmet to make head changes at the component level. Huh, I didn't know about that. I'm just scanning chat, sorry. 
<laughs> and I should also be uh, keeping my admin screen up in the background, shouldn't I? Yep, we've got three new players. See, this is bound to happen. Mr. Sir, welcome to the game. Unmask you. And we have Adam. Let's unmask Adam. And player 30 is Daryui. Okay. All right, I don't want to show that on screen, on stream in case there's a bad word. So welcome Mr. Sir Adam and Daryui. All right. Favorite, so fave icon. Yes, welcome, Mr. Sir. Have no idea who Mr. Sir might be. I mean, it's anyone's guess. Okay, I need to fix. So this was pulled from prototype code where it was using a class based component, so it's now um, a functional component. Actually, I can do these all at once, can't I? Look at this wizardry. And that's not quite right. Close enough. And actually, these return functions are... Um... Do I need that return function? Should look to see where I copied it from. I don't think I do. Yeah, this. Hold on. Yeah, multiple cursors. Forgot a bracket in the first one. I did. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Um. Okay. I. I wanted the app available. Right, so... How did that work? I called it with this. So I'd do the same thing and... double arrow it, I guess. Let's see if I get this right. And then um, re remove that. And why do I have var in there? Shouldn't that be let? And there's no this. Wait a minute. What was I? What kind of trickery was I doing here? So this is why I'm trying to get away from this, because I don't really understand what I was doing here. It was I was capturing phaser, it was passed in as the context for that function, right? So can I, can I still do that? I guess we'll find out. I'll just do a debugger. standardize these a little bit. Thanks for the follow, XYZ. Not using local variables. So, well, I'm not using it now, but, you know, that's... This is really just placeholders for now. I'll move them out and... Um, yeah, well... Hold on. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> Actually, that one had direct access to app. What was I doing here? Is, is that my app? It is. Okay, so this is different. Thanks for the follows. Steampunk Devil and Cargo Shorts Rule. 
Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm going to have trouble with this because the the arrow function is not exactly the same as a function. <sighs> this is this is what the perils of doing things live and not knowing exactly how this works. I probably got it wrong. Okay, I can get rid of these though, right? Actually, there is no app. What am I? Th what am I thinking? I can get rid of these, right? And then get rid of these. Okay, what's the worst that could happen? Horrible crash? App is not defined. Yeah. Let's let's comment that out for now. Fifteen. Don't have an atlas yet. Why didn't it remember me? I don't know. Okay, I have a bunch of this is. Okay, I don't know where I got that from. Hold on, what? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, there's pixie stuff and phaser stuff. Where is that? S okay, it's just fixed. I fixed that somewhere else, didn't I? In the CSS? Hold on, let's just search for it. I thought I had, I thought it was 640. Now I don't see it. Hmm. I guess it would be somewhere here. Aha. Six oh eight four eighty. Why did I do six oh eight? Oh, right, 19 tiles, so that means, yeah, 9 tiles left, 9 tiles right. 480 is sub, so you can look 7 tiles up and down, 9 tiles left and right. So it's 408, 608 by 480. I'll do a horrible thing right now and um, just hard code it. Okay, there's a uh, phaser. Is undefined. That's interesting. There is a this, but I couldn't copy it to phaser for some reason. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the... Uh, the uh, magic numbers. I don't understand why these are not the same, though. I thought you could capture that. Am I wrong? Does that need to be a var? Huh. That is this, the phaser scene, though. But how come I can't get a reference to it? <sighs> hey there, Kobayashi Maru. Uh, 
I wonder if it's because it's in an arrow function, and so my understanding of this is not quite good enough. It's probably evaluating that at a different point than I'm thinking. I seem to remember that some had some had something to do with with the way arrow functions are made. Why am I nesting functions? Um, it's because I believe what happens is phaser takes the function you give it and it um, it binds it to the scene. And so I'm trying to get the scene back, and I'm not sure how to do that. Is it? It's not double. It's not double anymore. It's only a single. But can I do this? Oh, that worked. So making it not an arrow works. So now I have access to phaser. Nice. Okay. So that's that's the solution. Arrow functions lexically bind their context, so this actually refers to the originating context. So yeah, that's that's the part that I don't quite have under my, under my, well, what do you say? I haven't mastered that concept yet. So I could bind it myself, you're saying? Phaser and it bind this. But I don't want the context of show stage or any of that. I want phaser's gonna do the binding for me. It's binding it to the scene. Actually I wonder is it this same scene? So should I should see in it in there? Oh I do. So maybe I don't need to handle this if I just um pick that scene out myself, right? So if I do something like pull this out. Actually, what what if I just do this? Uh const scene equals and then that is uh mm, but I want access to that. I'll just leave it the way it is. I'll just use the this trick to get back to the scene. Let's call it what it is though. It's not phaser, it's scene. And let's make this a let. All right. I guess I'll do the setup and the tick next. As long as this actually works. Yeah, okay. So we have access to the scene. All right. So what is the setup do? Okay, it just added stuff. It added so we can um just play around and add something to the scene if we want. And tick Hold on. Let me let me check something. Early on when I was playing around with that thing, I think I had just some playing around with it code that I could use. Oh no, that was for Pixie. 
Yeah, that's not going to work. It's It was for Pixie, not Phaser. Okay, anyway. Um, I guess I'll just do the setup right here. So I should, this should be uh, happening, right? The tick should be happening. Sorry. Yeah, cool. So I'm getting the ticks. Let's start by making a sprite, shall we? Where is that done? Phaser sprites, here we go. Okay. Let me create the uh, variables, the persistent variables for this middleware here. Say const um, um, not state because that'll get confused with Redux. I'm thinking phaser something, phaser store. I don't want to use state or store, though. Gosh, struggling with names. Can I just call it phaser? No, it'll get, it'll get confused with the library. Actually, why can't I? And then include it here. Stage? Mm. But the stage... I think of the stage... The, the, the stage is this scene. Actually, this... That's scene. Okay, we can call it stage. Thank you, Mr. Balrog. Sometimes I just need a kick towards the right direction. So what I wanted to put in here was um, sprites. And... Um, why did I have them as an object? There is some reason why. I don't remember why. Oh, they had IDs. So let's not use an object. I've learned better since then. Uh, we should make it a map. Um, just like that, right? Then... Uh, let's... Okay, I don't, I don't off the top of my head remember the API. So n d n map. If you've asked to do anything, you've been able to get power dropped. UPS that kept the internet running and a few laptops. I'm sorry that you had the power drop, but no, I did not ask anything. I should check to see if more people have created. See two, two more. Accounts were created. Let me vet the names. Night King, all right. And... Random. Okay, we have someone in the game called Random. <laughs> no one's uh, tried to troll me with the names yet. Oh, Thunderstorms, I see. Thanks for the follow. Blob. 
Oh, it's set. Yes, get in set. All right, got it, got it, got it. It should be set. And then um, there's some ID and some sprite, right? And so I don't remember. Do I get IDs from Phaser? This ID. Who comes with that? Uh, comes up with that ID. Oh, it's part of. Okay, that's something I had invented, a backend thing. Tua Bud, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'm just going to manufacture an ID. So one, const. ID equals one, and the sprite. I just notice that that's not using the whole f vertical area. Sprite from texture. So I have to have a texture. Yep, almost three hours. Let's just copy this stuff. And it's not this, it's scene. Pixie sprite from texture. And then uh, let's just manufacture a, a test for now. Z level zero. Hold on. Oh, this is a con. Oh, wh why am I doing pixie? This is all wrong. Uh, it's phaser sprites. So it's just this much of it. And I guess this was a convenience function I had made at some point. Aha. So it was loading from a texture atlas of some kind. I know what I can do. I can cheat and copy over the texture atlas. Have I been saying it wrong? Is it Tua or Tau? T-U-A. Tua, right? How long have I been working on this project? Since November. There's a general information here, but it's taking me a long time uh, to get um, the platform up and running, but the idea is to have an online RPG. So it's online. It's mul So this part's done. It's multiplayer and it's online. It just doesn't have game in it yet. <laughs> so if you want to see a prototype, that I did in about a week. And I've spent the last five, six months just setting up the platform. So, uh, where is it? Uh, this platform uh, just launched today and trying to add game to it. <laughs> just add the game then, exactly, yeah. But Phaser is new. I'm not very good at JavaScript, so this is going to be a bit slow. Do I just want to pull up the uh, Phaser manual here? That phaser is from the scene, right? And I'm on phaser three. Ah, just do phaser JS. Get me to the run in manual here. Learn. Well, I don't want to learn, do I? There should be like a, just a documentation 
Do people, do people really not want to get straight to the documentation? You want to go through this learn thing? Uh, is it in our community? Oh, it did? Ah, thank you. Sometimes I'm just uh, blind. API documentation. Why not make this a link? Why do I have to copy paste that? It's not even that link doesn't even work. <laughs> I guess I'm already there, but why didn't that work at all? Oh, because I didn't type it right. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay, thanks for the host, Adam. Hey, Raya Light. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See ya, Adam. All right. Why am I having so much trouble today looking at this stuff? Use the drop-down menus at the top. Okay. Yes, so I want phaser or stage, I guess, right? Or scene. Stage, scene. I keep getting, keep getting them confused. Add. Right. That's not what I want, is it? Ah, uh, there is a factory, yes. And in the factory, it's Sprite, yes. So this variation took an atlas, it took four arguments. Oh, right. If it's an atlas, then the texture is the name of the atlas. Okay. Let's just hard code it for now. Um, no, no, I was going to copy the atlas over. Rhymo art was this is was this it? Yeah, why don't I have two versions of it? I don't. Oh, one was for phaser, one was for pixie. I think two was for phaser. Yes. Right, so preload did that. Let's copy that over. Oh, that was already there. Okay, I'm just being dumb. And then the atlas name. We'll just hard code this for now, just for testing. And let's grab it. Put it in this one's public. All right, now what do I have available? Hero. Let's just put the hero on the screen. You have a large dictionary of hash strings to take over 10 gigabytes. Uh, 
Uh, I would use a database for that. Hello, Argo. That's what databases are specifically designed to do, is to take huge sets of data like that, and it'll do the, the um, hashing for you. It doesn't depend on the hard drive? Well, if you don't want it to depend on the hard drive, then you put it in RAM somehow. Uh, load it, load the machine up with more RAM. So you say you can't have it in RAM. Uh, it has to be somewhere. If it's not in RAM, then it's in a hard drive or a, a, or I guess an SSD, if you really wanted. Oh, if you just wanted to check that it's in the dictionary, uh, you would have a second set of data where you um. Use a hash function to reduce it down, reduce each string down to a very small, uh, a smaller but potential. You could have, could have hash collisions, but you could. I guess you could detect if there were any collisions. If, as long as there are no collisions, you could reduce it down and get a yes/no answer. Okay, see you, Omega. If you take the strings and you use a hash function to reduce it down to a, a smaller hash. And there's a chance of collision, but you if, if there's no collision, you could get a yes-no answer if, if it's in the original data set. Zero. One. Oh, this is going to be um, stage sprites. Uh, actually, I had her, I already had it here. I already had ID. Okay, so that's just sprite. And then this was um, scene dot add dot sprite. Now, what does that get me? Phaser's not defined, line 16. No, it is not. Okay, see you, Goon Pontoon. Object is not iterable. Okay, I forgot how I did that new map thing. Oh, okay. Don't need to give it an object. Okay, but it didn't show my it didn't show my guy. Uh It did run that, right? Oh, I think you need to tell it to show it, don't you? Okay, see you, Tim. Yeah, sorry, my stream has slowed down quite a bit now that I'm struggling with uh, this phaser stuff. But I'll get back up to speed. Is it because I don't have the add child? Yeah, I think that's why, right? I need to have an add When stuff gets created, you need to actually add it. No, it's this show, right? Hold on. Uh, I should just look at uh, their examples, right? I don't know why I'm just trying to guess. Actually, it was there. 
Hmm. Oops. Great. Uh, basics. Sure. Why not? Show me the code. I wonder if it's because I'm using zero zero. No. Oh, it might not be loading the art correctly because I added that and didn't restart this. I wonder if it's something like that. Load. No. Make sure it's actually loading the uh, sprite sheet. Ah, it didn't. Is that the problem? Parser. Oh, sorry. Actually, that is a problem. Uh, let me fix that. I don't know why my eye didn't pick that up, but thank you, Utsby. I'm missing something basic. <laughs> Th see the epic unknown. Ah, what is it? Do I actually need to tell it to show? Is it that easy? No. Show is not a function. Oh, I think those are functions I manufactured. Ah, do I need to do that? Scene. Get rid of the debugger. I think I'm getting close. It's just, uh, it's the stage. Is it scene.stage? Hold on, there's, that's, okay, okay wait a minute. I'm getting con this confused. That's pixie. Where is the um, phaser, though? Set visible. I think this is wrong. Why was twitch.com named as such after Twitch Gaming? Actually, I don't know. It used to be just Justin TV, right? 
What am I doing wrong? I shouldn't need to do that. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I already established that it's not loading it, not loading the image. That's the problem, right? Oh no, it is loading it. How come that didn't show up under images? It shows up under X A X H R. All right. Fast pace movement, yeah. Active, true. Width 16, height 16. I mean, it loaded the, it looks like it loaded the, uh, texture atlas correctly. Oh, did I, did I not set the stage? Cr oh, I'm stupid. That's what it was. It never set the, it never set the DOM element correctly. There we go. 
there's my little dude. All right. That all because I didn't have that that ID matching. <sighs> all right. Sprite dots uh set scale. Help if I get the name right. Probably the uh, warnings showed up, and I'm just um, not paying attention to them like I should be. Tw 12 and 20. Yeah, I know I'm not using that. I guess we can just comment it out because we're not. I know I'm not needing it. That, because uh, I wanted to do there. She don't know about the depth yet. All right, there's our little man. <laughs> All right. Do I even need the scene? Can I just do uh, add? Not defined. I'd have to say this dot. I'd rather just do that then. All right. Um. Let me do the hide stage while we're at it. That's the inverse, so... Um, it needs to call destroy, so um, for... Well, it's, um, I don't know why I'm having trouble thinking about this. For each. For each gives us the, uh, key and the value. Would I see that if I looked here? Yeah, I would. So really, I just need values. Well, for each calls a function, though. Yeah, so let's do stage.sprites for each ID sprite. And then, uh, well, this needs access back to phaser, so I need that uh, scene, right? I think I can do that with this, right? Stage.scene equals that. So I can say stage dot scene. Actually, did I need that here? No, I just need to destroy sprite dot destroy. And then, uh, how do you clear out the entire map? Clear. And then I want to destroy the phaser scene as well.
If you have a website, it usually has a C panel. In the file manager, you can add PHP files and make a simple REST API, but came across something confusing to me. How is the Node.js used to build REST API? Can I put the Node.js code in the file manager and just call that an endpoint? Well, the Node.js Node is a program you have to run, right? And that program is running a JavaScript interpreter, and that is listening on a socket so that uh, the browser, when it connects to try to load a web page, it, it connects to that Node.js server program, right? So you actually have to run something. That's probably what you're missing. Yeah, the lower, yeah, exactly. It has to run on its own, yeah. I don't suppose that this will t let me know how to tear down a phaser. Would it be under basics? Probably not, right? No. Um, let's Google search it. So, uh, how to destroy phaser scene. Why Bing? Um, because Google doxes you on stream. I don't know if you know, but if you do a Google search, at the bottom it shows your location. Bing doesn't do that. Uh, what I want actually is in this scene object, right? That's what I'm creating, right? No, I'm creating a game. The game returns me the scene, right? Hmm. Maybe I wanted game. New game. So can I destroy the game? Run on its own. Right, exactly. Something ha- some- some program has to run on some computer somewhere. Things just don't run by themselves, so... It might appear that they run by themselves, but they're probably run by something that you're just not familiar with. I mean, it tells you how to create a new game, but how do you destroy the game? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter, right? We can just say destroy true. So this actually isn't the scene, is it? It's a game. The scene is, uh, is here. If I wanted to store that, I guess I would, I would, on init, I would, I would stash it. Let's do that. So, scene. I wonder if I can get the scene from the game. I can just do this. Uh, stage dot scene equals this. And then um, here, it will be um, stage.game.destroy. Uh, is there a default to that?
Uh, to see it true. Stage.game is null. Stage.scene is null. We should probably do that up here. All right. So the idea is that when I reef, if I um, log out, it should have, um, okay, it didn't do it right. <laughs> Destroy is not a function on a sprite. Okay. A bunch of other errors. Let's debugger it. Log out. Oh, I had it backwards. <laughs> it's sprite in the ID. It's value key, not key value. All right. Makes sense. And then log out. And then log in. Actually, I should just show the console when that happens. Where did we log out? There we logged out. Hide stage. Okay, there's nothing on the debug, so I take it that it's good. Okay, cool. So the stage is created and destroyed whenever um, we um, are showing the in-game correctly. That's all I really wanted to test. How far am I? The stream. I got like a half an hour left. Why don't you use the Redux dev tools? This uh isn't this isn't in Redux. This is um in my middleware. I do uh I do use Redux. But um I, I see them in both, so I I also I could also see them here. It's just that I was I was looking to see if there was anything on the console like a, a warning in response to um this uh hide the hide stage. Right up here. Uh, no, where is it? There's a lot of... I have a lot of actions, don't I? So this hack action high stage goes to the middleware. I was looking to see if there was any, n like, debugging from phaser, like if I was doing anything wrong. So there wasn't. So this throws, it does show something on when you create it, it, sh it shows that. I was just looking to see if there was anything um, on, cl on hide or destroy. Thanks for the follow. Linger for miles. So yeah, I could also use the Redux data. It just doesn't show me any of the um, stuff from the middleware. This is only really showing s things that are reduced. So the only thing that gets reduced on hide dialog or uh, show stage and hide stage, it just says, oh, there's no state difference because it's handled all in middleware. Yeah, but I do use them. Yeah, okay. I'll check this in as a next step. Sorry that I'm so slow right now. Oh, I never checked that in. Oops. <laughs> Oh wait a minute, no, that's that's uh that's interesting. That should have gone into the last one, right? It it should have gone into the package lock. Uh I'm not gonna worry about it so much. Because the moment you do an NPM build it'll have updated it. Alright. So this is adding phaser and its dependencies, right? I will check that in this one in separately. So um, I already tagged zero one one. So this will be uh, package. Uh, this is player console package lock updated uh, by npm. 
Right now, this is adding in phaser. That I'll check in separately. Temporarily checking in my RAM art just for testing. Add stage show stage, stage middleware. And this is an effect hook to hide and show the stage when we're in the playing, when the playing activity is visible. Right, okay. This is add this player console, add phaser stage. Uh, this includes, or include a test sprite for now. And then this one is um, uh, fix the app title. Should I go ahead and deploy that so you guys can see it? Why not? Uh, so if I want to deploy that, technically I added a feature, which is that it's showing a game world, right? So that means that it's um, the second version number that bumps up. I feel lost right now. It is package JSON, right? So let's go to zero two zero. I think what I'll do is I'll go to one zero zero when there actually is uh a... actually what am I talking about? Let's just go to one zero zero. That's what I, that's what I wanted to start out anyway. And then I'll npm build it. And that should change the oh npm run build. That should change the package lock as well, and then I'll redeploy. Naming things is one of the hard, one of the three, one of the three hardest things in programming. Right, is naming things and off by one errors. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm trying to use Semver. It's just I I it it starts you out at zero one zero instead of one zero zero, so I'm just bumping it to one zero zero now. Cache invalidation. That's fine, Chris. By the way, for those who don't know, Chris is another streamer on Twitch. He's very good, very entertaining. He works on a lot of web, web dev stuff. And recently he was working on a Twitch extension to show different emotes or replace emotes customized in the uh, on-stream chat like you see up here. So if I was running his extension, we could um, replace stuff. I actually am thinking about switching to your extension whenever it's ready. Is it ready? <laughs> Mr. Sir, indeed. Okay, so it's built. The thing is, do I need to change the index? Let me look at this index that's built. I don't know enough about it to be able to tell. Uh... Oh, what am I doing? I can just look at it here. I can go to player console build index. Actually, this will have changed, right? Because it has the uh, name in it. So let's deploy. Hold on. I think I actually I'll, I'll, I have to do this always because it has, yeah, it has the um, the updated stuff for static, right? Yeah, so that changes every time. So I always have to redeploy the index, and I should do that last, right? Hey there, playing with skizzers. Giving up your lurk status. Someone mentioned PHP earlier, playing with skizzers, and uh, I was sure that if you were still here, you would have piped up and talked about it. Got to represent your programming language, right? All right, so... AWS S3. Do I have this in my cache from before? Oh, no, I'll just do it. Copy 
Raimu Art 2 JSON S3. Deployment. This is a uh, manual deployment of files. <laughs> and then let me, uh, let me do the sync now. So that is uh, static with static. And then what else do I need? Did the manifest change? No, the manifest changes if I change the icons and stuff, right? How about asset man? That will have changed. And that's one of those that I don't want it cached, right? So I want cache control max age zero. And then that it? It's cluster. Oh, yeah, that didn't change. Um, yeah, index is last, right? All right. So reload. Oh, I didn't have it persistent. I think it was just in case the token showed up. There you go. Now you got now you guys all have the little man on your screens too, right? <laughs> How far down the to-do list is deployment scripts? Yeah, probably not that far because um it's sort of painful for me to do this myself. That wasn't too bad. Most of it's changed with that and that. If I could script those alone, that would be that would get me pretty far. And actually that too, right? I guess for now I'll just make a simple script. Let's just do it. So um, we'll kind of like one of these files. This will be uh, deploy. So the build is root player console slash build, right? That'll be build slash like that, right? So next time I'll run that. And I have to manually copy over any new um, public files. I think those are the only ones that change from build to build. Should I do a test for that? So the test will be I'll move the little man around. Ready? So, oh, wait a minute. Before I make... Before I do anything else, I need to tag that last version. Uh, get tag front one zero zero, right? Not gig tag, get tag. All right. No, red. Middleware stage. Let's move the little man to 200 by 2. How about 3, you know, 300 by 300? How did I get logged out due to inactivity? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Screwed up the little man. Interesting. Oh, because I stopped it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
You got banned. How'd you get banned? Let me look. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got banned. Why did it get ba Why did it ban you? This token value mismatch. Oh, yeah, I need to unban you. Actually, this is a good opportunity for me to fix the ban the the uh the uh ban tool. So, let me let me do that. Sorry about that. Yeah, so that might hmm. I wonder I'm looking at the I'm looking at the uh the server's log. It just says authentication timeout like your client never actually gave up. Interesting. I wonder if your IP address changed or something. <laughs> I know. I'll fix it. I'll have to look back at the log to see what happened, but let me let me okay, this is working now. So hold, put that on pause for a minute. Let me um, let me update the the tool that I use for um, bands. Actually, it uses a common it uses a config file. Okay, this is not going to work right. Actually, it will if I run it from a, the correct directory. So it needs a config file, and then what else does it need? Okay, that's wrong. I know. I'll just um, I'll just say certs. Dot pem. Ca certs. And then this is um, admin private. So as long as I run this from the correct directory, it should work. Let me make, let me let me set this up. Be very careful here, not to show any of the f not to show the contents of any of these files. I don't have the conf I do have the config there, but I need to download the current config from the server. So let me do that off. Sh Actually, I can do it here. Download and then show that one. And. Uh, Hold on. Secrets. Delete the old one. Rename the new one. Okay. So let's see if this works. Oh, but I can't show this on screen. <laughs> it'll sh it'll reveal IP addresses. Uh, I'm doing it off stream. Oh, okay, the the bands have expired, so you should be able to get in now. But it looks like it'll work. Uh, actually, sh I can show you that because it didn't reveal any IP addresses. So I can list the current band addresses and I can purge them. And um, there, no one was banned, so the band must have expired. Let me confirm. Yeah, it's it it didn't get renewed. So if you try again, you should be able be able to get back in now.
Okay, there, yeah, there we go. All right. I'll have to look at. I, I'm um, I'm capturing the log from this back end. I'll have to look later to find out how you got banned. But I, I I can, what I can do is I can run this again at any point, and purge the banned addresses. Um, should you get banned by accident, just let me know. All right, back to this. I moved the little man's, and I was going to test the deployment script, right? So, that's uh. Changing the uh, version number is important. We'll just call it a patch. How come that's showing up with a modification? Oh, did I? I didn't tag it before. I tagged it, but I never did. Okay, I I screwed up. I screwed up the tag. I didn't make the commit. Thanks for the follow, Josie Mariah. Or yeah. I totally forgot uh, to uh, commit that. S one zero zero. Stupid me. So um, what was the last commit? Fix the app title. Yeah. So I screwed this up. So. Update fr uh, front end version. So that's the one I want uh, tagged. All right, and then uh, let me check this one in separately. So tools, um, use keys found in working directory. All right, so I wanted to test the deployment of that along with this dis deploy script. So this increments, and then I build it. Hmm. Actually, while it's building, let me see if anyone created any more game accounts. Oh, Nui reported an issue. Close the tab. Oh, so that might be just a scenario I hadn't thought about. Like this multi-account container, I don't think I've ever tried that, using that. Okay. Let me put a note here. Uh, this showed up in the back end as an authentication timeout, which results in a six the second IP ban. Thank you for reporting that, Nui. I'll have to, I'll have to investigate later what happened exactly. Use Chrome normal and private mode to simulate a similar thing. Oh, and just have two accounts back and forth? Yeah, so I'll try to recreate that issue myself. All right, so this is built, and I should then just be able to say uh, deploy, right? Let me look at that deploy script to make sure I got it right. Root player console build. All right, let's give it a try. think it's going to work, and our little man will move. Yeah, I didn't commit it yet. I should have, shouldn't I? <laughs> so this is uh, 
testing the de testing the deployment script. So player console test deployment bump to one zero one. Didn't change the package lock this time for some reason. I don't know why. Git tag front one zero one push tags. Okay, doke. Oh, okay, safe. Okay, so I got logged out because of inactivity. Uh, locally, it doesn't matter. It's a real game I care about. So reload and yeah, I've chosen not to persist that login. Probably can. There shouldn't be any harm in it, right? Famous last words. Okay, our little man didn't move. Why didn't he move? Okay, what what to check here? Let me um not persist so I can show this and um what do I want to show here? I feel like I forgot a file or something. Oh, I'm being raided by someone. Iris John, how are you doing? I'm testing the deplo deployment script that I was writing for my uh, game client, which is online now, which you can play. Hold on, let me get the the good link with a nice secure. There you go. You can log into my game client now. How are you guys doing today? How was your stream? I'm trying to figure out right now why the deployment script I wrote just didn't work. Didn't seem to work. Uh, where would I find that? I'm trying to remember where I saw it before. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, you can't play it. Yeah, you can submit bugs <laughs> on, on how everything is missing. Um, I don't even remember. I don't even remember now. How did I check the version number? It was like the manif... Oh, I know what it was. It was under network. Uh, reload that guy. It'll show up. Okay, that that is the uh that is a number I can match up with what I saw here when I deployed it, right? I wonder if it just didn't copy the index. Did I screw that index line up? Let me remove these. And that might be that might be what's causing it. Oh, interesting. It didn't it only ran the first line and it didn't run the second line. That's what that's what happened. So it's stopping this it's stopping the script after one one command. Hey, look at that. It's only running one of them. Okay, now it's now so for some reason it stops the batch file. Uh reload actually. I'll remember me this time. Okay, our little man moved now. Cool. What language am I writing in? So this is in Phaser JS, which is JavaScript. This is React and Redux, which is also JavaScript, and the back end is using C. So 
I just got the platform online today and I've been working on mostly the back end for the last four or five months just to get a nice uh, fault tolerant system up and running. And today, now that the game's online, I'm trying to do game stuff. So the, so the first thing I was struggling with game-wise was putting in the phaser stage here and then putting just a, a test sprite. So there's a test sprite and also I was working on uh, trying to script the deployment of the front end. So it's not quite working because for some reason every time I run one of these AWS commands it stops the batch file. So I need to look up like what's the trickery I need, I need to do to, um, to get it to um, run all three of these and not just the first one. The stream was grand up until the end. Got some bugs for sure. Well, same here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I use Python a little bit, so I was showing that in this other window. Um, I have uh, some tools that I... Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll make the deployment thing yet another tool. But I had a tool I was running here just to purge banned IP addresses because right now it's happened twice now today that uh, a, a normal player got banned because of some bug in the front end tool. So, yeah, the Python is mostly just for the automated tools. I haven't, got, I haven't read about how to do the um, AWS stuff with Python yet, so I kind of want to read up on that first before I try to do it on stream. Okay. Let me check to see if anyone's made an account. Yeah, we have a new player. Let me uh, look at the name off screen. Multi-agent, okay. So that's okay. So that is now unmasked and we're good to go. Cool. So yeah, these are all the tickets open and closed in the game. People who've been reporting issues, I keep them open and so I can look at them later. And also I've been uh, capturing some notes off, off, off screen in my uh, today as well, in my notebook. Anyway, almost at four hour mark, so I should start thinking about when when I can um, find a good stopping point. There's something I can do quickly in the next 10 minutes. This I think I'll handle when I automate the, uh, the front end deployment. That should be fixed now. Did anyone look to see if that was fixed? It still says React app. Why does it say React? Oh, because I didn't reload this? Yeah, there we go. Cool. And uh, the admin tool also sees the nice um, the game world too. All right, so that was fixed. I guess I can, add, I can put this in. Yeah, let's do that. That that only take a few minutes. So the idea behind that is when we're not logged in, um, I should have the uh, game title up here with the description of what the hell you're looking at. So let's put that back in. That I had a copy of the what I, the old text I had under placeholder, I think. Client placeholder. Yeah. So if I just take this font. Oh, I think I already have that in the game. Player console uh, index CSS, right? Yeah, I already have the Diagoth font. Okay. So I just need to have the CSS select that for the title. So let me let me copy the CSS snippet over to here. I don't think I have that here, so let me add it. So title, and then uh, and then just the text, right? So in each, I just need to make the class say that. And I don't even think I have an H1, so. This is only when you're outside the of the game. So that's use activity sitting outside activity. 
So that's here. So I suppose we put the H1 inside here. And then a horizontal rule. And that has to say class name. Can you move the character? Not yet, but we're getting there. That's probably what I'll try to work on next. So tomorrow what I'll probably work on is um, input controls and entity compo uh, uh, as part of, the, of an entity component entity component system. So right now there is no entity for your account. And so this is just a, a static prop, like a background image. So pro what, I'll, what I'll do probably is establish the entity component system so that every player has an entity in the game and then establish um, a, two things I need, an input component and a uh, position component. And then I'll let you move around on the screen and I'll probably put your name on top and then we'll have fun. It'll be like uh, stream avatars only inside my game. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a RPG. So we can check out this page that has the um, ideas behind what how I want to make it different from other games and then just general things I want to put in the game. So some of the activities you can do, but it's the intent is to make it uh, multiplayer RPG online, and it's in heavily well, I'm heavily inspired by the old old Ultima series. So this is approachable for me as a single developer who doesn't have a lot of art skill. So it's going to be the similar kind of thing where you'll see the game world around you and you'll be able to move around in, in it. And then any kind of interaction chat based will be in a different panel. And uh, I did a mock-up of this back in January or February. In fact, you can look at a, a highlight clip to see it there. Just make it a scoil space. <laughs> oh, social space. Yeah. So for a while, it probably will just be you walk around in the in the blackness of of the game where there's no world yet, but you'll be able to control where you are. I think that'll be fun enough. So that'll probably be, that'll probably be my goal for tomorrow is everyone's avatar will show up here. I might even work on letting you pick a different avatar from a set. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but um, that should be doable because all we need to do is have just the ECS baseline with two components and then uh, two systems really the movement system and then the uh, display system which will be sending messages to the client whenever uh, someone moves all right so that was the title and then i wanted to move the uh, text over right yeah let's move this one let's just move this over It will, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it saying will be. Okay, let's make a new paragraph. The server, okay, the, the platform for the game is now live and you can create an ac account and log in here. Please be aware there is no game yet. And um, uh, horizontal rule. Yeah, you'll see in a second. Please be aware there is no game yet and many, and many things are broken. Most will be fixed on stream. Also, uh, there is no terms of service, TOS, or privacy policy yet. For, can we just say this for now? Use common sense and and uh, assume all game, well, just use common sense and 
for now, please use common sense. You may download your player data at any time or request your account be deleted. Common sense, the rarest of superpowers. <laughs> I'll probably need to do that very, very soon, right? Come up with uh, TOS and privacy policy. I mean, it's just, there's not much there. It should be obvious, hopefully, that when you're in the game, uh, I'm not logged into the game right now. Did I, oh, I logged out to test something, didn't I? It should be obvious that the download my data coupled with the delete my account should satisfy GDPR for now. You can see what data I, the server holds and then you can delete it at any point. And it, it literally just, it does wipe out everything as if you never created your account in the first place, which actually could be used for an exploit right now for certain things, but yeah. Just ban Europeans. <laughs> I think I'm GDPR compliant. I just don't have it written down. Other than uh, this will be the placeholder for now. That should be good. Let me verify that this works. Here. Oh, I didn't run. That's right. Whenever I build it, I stop serving it. Uh, npm start. Hey there, rub a dub. I think Norway counts as part of the EU, doesn't it? Two spaces after a period. Oh yeah, yeah. I did learn typing on the typewriter. That was drilled into me, and I know it's sort of silly to do it nowadays on computers, but it's just. I don't know. It helps me actually see when sentences start as well. I just think it's a it's a good rule. But then again, I am uh, from an older generation. Okay, there we go. So I brought back the um, the uh, intro text. That's good enough for now, right? Okay, let, let me just end the stream with that by um, doing one more deployment. But I have to do the steps manually. Right? Actually, the only thing that should have changed would be the index. So, control C that. Let's do this right, though. Uh, the, pre the previous check-in, I did tag it, right? Yeah, okay. And then this new one. is that version so and pm run build well thanks for the follow cows lean okay yeah today was a very eventful day thank you thank you for the follow stroth before I wrap up the stream, I will um, verify any other accounts that people made, and I'll 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 leave it running. If you guys want to uh, let me know if there's any other problems, you can let let me know in game or in my Discord as well. I should give you guys a link to that. It's in the panels below, but here's the link anyway. And stream elements is dead. Maybe it'll catch up in a second. Stream elements should have responded to that. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway. Thanks for playing with Skizzers. I don't know what happened to stream elements. Until I find out what's wrong with this, I have to...
have to do these lines one at a time and rem them out. Okay, so it should be deployed. So I will log out and refresh. There we go. So we're good. One zero two. CSS, there's the text and I'm gonna ignore that one. So this is um add header and text to um explain what uh, the game is and provide a link to the Twitch stream uh, when not logged into the game. And then this is a uh, player console. V102. Uh, game title info. Git tag front one zero two git push git push tags. Oh, you can't move around in the game yet, Rubadub TV. But what I'm thinking about doing, um, I guess I show it here. This is just uh, a static image, just a test that I had phaser loaded right. But probably I'll have two ways to do it. You you can either um, use the key keyboard ASDFW or whatever. I probably also have um, you like if you're in, if you don't want to use the keyboard, I'll probably have some kind of mouse controls. I haven't really decided what to do yet, but it could be that if you click in the phaser arena, it would move you around, or I could have buttons in the corners. You know, I'm open to suggestions there, actually. Yeah. So the goal for tomorrow will be to add the the to establish the entity component system with uh, the ability to show players in the in this game space and you'll be able to, able to move around so i will work on that tomorrow i think because i am out of time for today my messages weren't going through why are my messages not going through let me try again okay now they're going through how come it didn't go through before weird anyway you came in too late. Hey there, said who? Yeah, you're coming in at the end of the stream. But the good news is that you can create an account on my game now. There's no game yet, but there will be. And I can actually, I'm actually going to process this to see. Oh, we had four new people create accounts. Let me vet the names first. All right. Yeah, and then, oh, Iris John created an account. All right. And then who's next? Forgotten One created an account. And player 38 is Rubadub. There you go. So if you were to create an account now, said who you'd show up uh, in my player list, and also um, a name check ticket gets open for everyone, anyone who either sets or changes a name, so I can um, make sure that they're okay. Oh, you don't have to use an email. The email is only if you forget your password. If you forget your password and you didn't put in an email, then I I can go in there as an admin and and set it, but it it might be hard if I don't if we can't establish that you own the account. <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, yeah, you're, you're player thirty nine. Unmask. There you go. No one else created any new tickets in the meantime. Okay. 
Cool. I'm, I'll, I'll probably call it here. And so tomorrow, what I'm what I'm going to be working on is um, actually show people's avatars in here and let you move around. So that'll be that'll be the goal for tomorrow. The server owns the game state. Yeah. Actually, let me back it up right now. So that's snapshot. And I can't show it on stream because it has all of everyone's data in it. In fact, I'm going to try really hard not to ever look at it directly. But it is stored in essentially a crude database on the back end. It's just a JSON file. Each of these servers has a copy of it. And whenever you're in the game and you uh, ask it to download your info, you're basically getting just your data, just your part of the server's uh, state. So yeah, when I add the entities tomorrow for the entity component system, that is more data for the server to handle. And then as people are moving around, it's going to be a lot more frequent changes to the game state. Every, every time someone moves, there's going to be a change to game state. You misspelled your name. Oh, are you Ella Giggle? Is that you? <laughs> are you Ella Giggle? Oh, player 40. <laughs> so here's an example where I would say, nice try playing with scissors. So you can, it's not, while it's masked, you can, you can change it without any penalty. That's not you? This isn't you playing scissors? So I can have a conversation with player 40 and say, well, that username, you know, we don't want that to, to go through. <laughs> Please change your name. And then when, if they change it, it'll show up as a new username. So. so if that's not you, then who was it? Let me uh, leave that open, but not... Uh, but not unmask them until I find out who it is. That is you, huh? <laughs> if it is you and you're logged in, you would have seen toast messages whenever I added a note to the ticket. <laughs> In fact, this is a good test. You should be able to change you should be able to change your name again and then I should see it pop up here. If I if I coded that right. I could test it myself, I guess. Make a new account in the other window. Uh create a new account. Uh Bob. I am not a robot. Uh-oh. Select all images with cars. Okay. Monka S. Gotta get all the cars. Yeah, I got all the cars. All right, so see, 41. So if I'm... Um, uh, I see. I see what you did there. <laughs> Very funny. Add. Anyway, if I was looking at player 41, it says Bob, right? And let me drag this down here. So if I change it to Bob 2, see, yeah, it, it shows exactly what, what they've elected to pick uh, right there at all times. You know what I haven't tested? What if I'm looking at a ticket and I destroy the ticket? Ah, look at that. It returned me to the uh, main screen. I actually did the right thing. All right, then. That was a good test. Uh, there's no cooldown for changing your name if your um, n account is masked. So that shows up that for this reporter. She's player 40. That means that's what they show up as to everyone else in the game. So you can change your name as often as you want while you're masked. And then once I approve the name... I unmask the account, and then that sets the cooldown for changing your name again. So I guess I should have tested that with that Bob account before I deleted it. 
You should only be able to change your name once after it's been unmasked, and then when you try to change it a second time being unmasked, it should say, you can't change your name that, that often. It's great when we fix all the bugs, said Hoop, but right now there's plenty of bugs to fix. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time for me to call it, out, like, once again, working tomorrow on showing people's avatars in the game world, so to speak, and probably show their name above the avatar because there's no chat yet. So sh I'll be showing people's avatars with names and you'll be able to move around. That'll be the goal for tomorrow. Yeah, we're ending anyway. So, see ya, Noah. Let me uh, go ahead and get set up to rate someone. Thanks for the follow, Anjali. You weren't following me before? Well, thank you for the follow now. I thought... I thought Thought you followed me before. See you, see you, Nui. Who should we go uh, say hi to? Yeah, maybe it was a uh, misclicked or something. Ah, uh, Sammy Leos is going. He's a nice guy. Let me make sure he's not finishing up his stream. Oh, he's he's about to raid someone else. You better not raid me. Okay, good thing I checked. The Simulaeus is about to raid someone else. Uh, how about Dino the Nugget? Looks like he's going strong. He started about 45 minutes ago. He's working on his own game engine. It's like a wireframe looking game, like right, reminds me of Tron. And I found, I think I found him through Said Who. So props to Said Who for showing showing me this stream. He banned you the other day. What'd you do? <laughs> yeah. So Dino the Nugget, he's working on a game engine. Uh, one thing that was cool that he was working on before, I don't know if he's, if he's still doing it, but he's doing drawing of all the graphics where the data comes from a database directly, as in like all of the vertex vertices being given to the OpenGL render are directly from a database, so. Ah, said who, yeah, you've got to be careful about talking about some subjects. So we're going to raid Dino to Nugget, and uh, hopefully, if you haven't seen it before, you'll have fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I should be back at 10 a.m. Pacific t time tomorrow, so that's 1,700 hours. So until then, I'm hitting the button. Go say hi to Dino. Yeah, bye. All right. Take it easy, people. See you later. Bye.